Hi. Welcome, welcome to the stream. We have appeared. Deroya is back from Kona land. Yeah, all no the way back. No more Kona. Yeah, no more Kona. And, you know, we've got MMO Inks as well. So, you know, we, I, I, I'll just get straight into it because we are a little bit late. We had a few technical difficulties. I mean, it, you know, it wouldn't be tea time without a few technical difficulties, really, you know, would it? It, it wouldn't be. You know, it feels it's at standard. home. So when I asked Deroya uh, to come on tea time, he said something very curious. I'm going to expose. I'm going to. I'm going to start this off with a massive expose. That I'm going to drop bombs here. Wow. Now I said, Deroya, let's go tea time. I, in fact, I've said something like uh, tea time in all caps with spaces, something like that. You know, I'm. He expects it at this point. That's As you I do. do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and. The Roy basically just said to me, I don't really want to talk about the game right now. In fact, I'm avoiding talking about the game. <laughs> so, wow, I feel exposed. <laughs> so, feel you know, exposed. I, I'll tell you what, like, why is that? Like, what's up with that? What's going on, man? I don't know, man. It's just, it's draining, I guess. It's just, I don't know. There, there's, there's not, there's not a whole lot to necessarily look forward to. There's not a whole lot of great discussions happening. Like, I'm sure there's a lot of great discussions happening, but it's all just a lot of draining discussions that are happening. It's a lot of, I don't know. I just, are you I, out I of don't, hope? I, I don't, I'm, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, I'm still playing the game. I'm still actively logging in every day and just playing it for a little bit and then doing something else. I, I mean, I'm just I'm just trying to not get invested as invested yeah. um not for the time being um I'm still invested don't get me wrong I'm still playing I'm still working on shit I'm still whatever the fuck the, uh but I don't know man I just it drains me to talk about the game it really really does it's it's something else right now it's it's one of those it's one of those droughts, like where we're just kind of cannibalizing ourselves in the community and everything that we do just to like have just for something content. happen, I guess. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, and, like, and, you, you and, I'm not, to... and I'm not saying that nothing, none of it is, isn't valid. All the criticism that I'm, I'm actually seeing, hearing and reading or whatever, it's usually very on point, but that only makes it worse to like kind of follow it. Right. I, I, at the moment, I'm just kind of, I don't know. Just kind of chilling. You become a casual. Focusing on other than, exactly. I am the casual. <laughs> DeRoyer the casual. Oh, I need that character no. Name. Oh, no. You know, I actually have the character name, DeRoyer Gaming. Wait, do you? Yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, well, yeah. that makes sense. <laughs> what? Well, now I know why I can't have that. Yeah, because it, yeah, it's yeah. mine. Yeah, uh -huh. I took that one. Yeah, it, it's true. I it, it's true. Like talking about the game, um, in a, in a serious way is it can be quite, it can be quite draining. You know, all the people who are saying that, um, uh, you know that you know the negativity, the neg, you know we've got to be PMA. The negativity is bringing us down. You know, you know what I've actually heard. I've even seen some opinions. I don't, know. I, don't I, I don't actually know if it's the negativity necessarily. Yeah. It's the fact that we've been talking about the same topics for three years and nothing's really come of it. Ooh. I think that's the draining part for me. Ooh. I don't really care. Like, I don't mind. I don't care about negativity or positivity. It, it, it's whatever. Like, it all flows into the ether. Uh, who, who really cares what side you're leaning on? Let's have a discussion, right? It's all about whether or not it actually makes sense to talk about these things. And for so long, we've been talking about so many things and it seems like it's just... She's going right over their heads. It feels meaningless. It feels pointless. It feels meaningless. It feels so meaningless. So Dude, it is, yeah. Do you know what you need to do? Because I've got some really good advice here. You need to, you need to get in on the blood sports, man. Like, you know, you need to start. You need to start getting bigs a snake, angry Zorik. Right? Just start mm -hmm. having people just go at each other. That's yeah, what you've you been. Need. You've been having your fun there. Yeah, 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 yeah. All you, the I, debates. Yeah, you know, I've seen, I've seen you in the chat there as well, though. You know, like come on, yeah, 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 yeah. I jumped in. Yeah, it's good fun. You can jump in. You know, you've got, you've got to get in on that, though, right? That's, that's like the real discussions, right? You just got to start. Gets a bit crazy, weird. Though. Yeah, it gets a bit crazy, but you know, you just got to embrace it. You've got to, you've got to just embrace the chaos, right? You know, you've got to see the chaos and just, just immerse yourself in it. I, I think that's the, the the most way, the most fun. 
in the game for me right now is just kind of getting yeah. in on that stuff and just honking. It is, a, it's a, it, you know, honk, honk, honk right? It's, it's the, it is honk, a clown fiesta, honk. right? Yeah, you've got to embrace the clown world, right? When it comes to when it comes to Guild Wars Two, and and realize that your actions don't matter. That's I, I is. don't disagree. I don't disagree. Yeah, you just have to. You've got to relax. You just got to chill. The only way is to be casual, right? You just have to. You have to become a casual. Arena have won. Arena that they won. Yeah, they got I us. Mean, got him. Thanks for watching, guys. What? Well, see. What do you think? See you next week. Now, now, I, I, I need you to bring the PMA back. Bring the PMA back, because that. I mean, look, that was just five minutes of me and Deroya just being some big rainy clouds. But you know, Inks, bring us some energy. Let's go. Can you hear me? All yeah. right, we can hear you. Okay. <laughs> Teapot. <laughs> this is for Zach. Zach, you're a good guy. I don't know I what's happening. Wait, wait. I quit! Wait, what? <laughs> wait, really? Fuck the casuals! I quit! <laughs> <laughs> Clip that. Send that somewhere. Uh, there you go, Zach. There's your clip. Yeah. That's about as about as good as I can do. So, well done, mate. Well done. <laughs> uh, I applaud your uh, your action. That's a brave man. That's good. Doing uh, so, what the rest so what of about us PMA? <laughs> yeah. Are, are we... I I need you to bring the energy level up. I want some PMA. I want some uh, some positivity from you coming out there. So I mean, first of all. Where where is Bick the Snake? Because I, I I have some no, bad news for him. I, I have know. some bad news. He's a casual. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if he knows this or not, but he's he's actually a casual. Uh, pretty much all of us here, except for Teapot, who streams the game every single day, is casual. Um, but anyway, I've been playing every day. Uh, I've been playing the festival and and doing some stuff. I've been kind of I've been kind of following and riding the coattails of Wooden Potatoes and doing the whole master thing i've been doing the all the achievements that i didn't do basically for the whole year that i'm sure droyer has already done <laughs> but mm -hmm. uh yeah i'm just like catching up now and you know what the sad part is we're not even really in a drought we had story then we had the raid release they were all just underwhelming and now we've been waiting for like two and a half months right almost three i guess yeah at this point mm. which is normal for them like that's not abnormal unfortunately and we're just waiting for the next story which we don't know what it is i think the faith in arena net for a lot of people is probably on the low side so um you know it's a lot of uncertainty right now and you know as much as i would want like elite specs to be announced on the 30th i've got about a two percent chance of that actually happening so nothing will begin on the 30th well nothing's going to begin on the 30th but i'm still excited for the announcement on the 30th oh yeah, yeah. but it's going to be story it's going to be a living story and probably a list of features to come like uh the wardrobe no what is it called the i keep calling it wardrobe build templates the build templates which you know should have is, happened it's going to be it's nice Tuesday. yeah i get it right but uh two percent's <laughs> not bad um so yeah, I, I don't know. I, I I have I have a little bit of hope that it's going to be good, that we're going to hear some exciting things, but uh, you know, season five is going to have to be really strong and different from the other seasons, and I just don't know how different it really can be. You know. Mm, yeah, I think that's what people are really looking for. They're looking for something that's going to shake the game up a little bit. Right, because living story, you know, it's all right, but it's not, it's not amazing. I think we all want to really see the game change, right? You know, and that's why I think people are a bit worried about season five and the announcement coming on from there. Or perhaps that's why the announcement is so exciting, because why would they even bother to announce something if they aren't going to shake it up, right? Um, so, you know, I think I'll actually confess to it as well. I'm actually pretty excited as well for the 30th because like you know what are they going to do like surely they've got something right surely they've got some energy if they're doing a full live announcement on twitch 
in person you know they've got the they've got 45 minutes of action right like actually real people talking about video games and stuff like that surely they've got to drop some bombs right like if they don't then i don't know what to t- i don't know what to say that's just uh, it's you know, why they're letting us down like that they, they, that's, that's just why the tease so what what kind of bombs are you expecting um on the 30th well like, i think there's gonna be we'll shake it up well, there's obviously going to be a new mount because they need something to put in the gem store. Uh, and is it going to be a season five episode one? We're going to have a new mount, or is it going to be season five? There's going to be a new mount announcement. Oh, what, what, what are we oh. looking at here? Are no, we looking at? Oh, don't get me wrong. I expect this to be a full arena net TM announcement. It, it, they're not going to say they're not going to give us any dates, right? They're going to say season five will have a raid. Season five will have a fractal. Season five will have a mount. Season five will have alliances, almost certainly. Uh, season five will have this, will have that. That's how it's going to go. Um, I think there's going to be. I, I think. Okay, so here's my checklist for the announcement. It's going to be new mount, okay, raid, fractal, story stuff. They're going to describe how the the maps are going to go. Like, if they're going to have, like, you know, one map or two maps or whatever. There'll be maybe a new PvP map as well. Um, now, after that, that's all the stuff I think is probably going to get dropped, right? Now, there, now we get onto the questionable stuff, or rather the less known stuff. I think there's going to be one, at least one new feature. Some kind of new thing. Now, it, I'm, I don't know what that will be. It could be anything. I don't know, like fishing, player housing, whatever, right? It will be some kind of thing. Oh, yeah, build templates are definitely coming. Oh, they're, they're fishing all right. right? They're, they're fishing for a teapot yeah. to stick around. <laughs> build templates Build templates are definitely coming. They're definitely, definitely coming. I, I wonder, actually, if they're going to say build templates during that, that whole yeah. thing, like the 45 minutes. Because it... I think what they want to do with those 45 minutes is appeal to the broader audience. And I don't think build templates necessarily appeals to the broader audience i don't think it's a great selling point if you only have 45 minutes well only to share whatever you've got cooking are you going to talk about something that is kind of niche i i think they will i i i get they're not going to go into depth about it but i i think they will confirm that it's coming right because well they've already confirmed it well I uh, know. I think it'll, they'll Not give a, the, they'll give a time like, scale for it. Like it's yeah. it's been said that yeah, this is something we're working on. But I think it's coming a lot sooner than we think. That you know, to talk about something that's perhaps a little more recent actually, and um, you know, obviously, Daria loves that purple in every hole. If you guys know what I'm saying, um, legendary runes have come out, and I actually think that indicates that build templates are very soon. They they are, the build templates are coming very very soon because without build templates, legendary runes, I'm not gonna lie, guys, they kind of suck. Like, the UI was... Uh, uh, how can I put this Not politely, guys? How can I put this politely? It's absolutely god-awful, right? For a start, legendary runes, as of... Uh, this is great, by the way, guys. As of right now, legendary runes are bugged, and they kind of count as two runes, so you can double well, up on rune bonuses or some weird shit. Uh, only for some of them. The, oh, rest, oh, of them, the oh. rest of the runes are just kind of wonky stats and... Uh... And, and weirdness. Okay. There is no consistency between any of the rooms. Yeah, so it's very weird. Everything, everything is bucked about it. Like, yeah. nothing was tested. Mm. I, I'm, all, I'm all for releasing something when it's ready, but this wasn't ready. Like, there's no mm. there's no precedence for letting this they rush. End. They rushed this out. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, it's oh, useless. Yeah. It yeah, is why actually not, useless. Why not save this for build templates, then, if that's coming? Exactly. I wonder... Why not make it a big thing combined? Well, maybe no. it'll be fixed by the time we can build it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, the, the thing is, though, I don't think I, they have. The thing is, this is a bit game breaking, so they have to fix the the rune inconsistencies. They they absolutely must fix, right? But I don't think the UI will get addressed ever, and and the UI is so no. bad. Like, okay, c- can you please explain to me why they thought this was a good idea? For example, whenever you want to change your rune right? It will say, are you sure? It's legendary armor. No one cares, right? It's, it's fucking legendary runes. Like, it doesn't... Ch- it, if you change it, it doesn't matter. You can just change it back. Like, fair enough. If you're, say, 
assigning stats to an ascended armor piece, yeah, you know, you you are you sure, right? Is that the right stat? Are you sure you want Berserker? Are you sure you want Plague Doctor? You, you know, you probably don't. You know, maybe you make you know make sure. Fair enough. But when it's legendary, it shouldn't it shouldn't ask you. Right, it should not say, "Hey, are you sure?" And the UI in general is just is a complete disaster, right? Like, like we, we don't need to get into it too much, but it's a complete clown for clown fiesta, right? It's not um, it's a step in the wrong direction. Yeah, there's no search bar for some reason. It shows all the stats and the runes are like, randomly ordered. I don't even, I, I, what the fuck? Like, and some of them aren't even there. Like, I think durability rune isn't even there. For example, I, I sanctuary mean, is gone. Sanctuary is gone as well. So. <laughs> I, I'm, <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's not finished. I mean, it's not done. I mean, uh, why, why do you think they pushed that out so soon? Because uh, Arena Net literally delay they delay stuff at the drop of a hat, right? Because like, you know, if it's if it's not ready, why did they ship this feature that wasn't finished? I legitimately think it's because they're scared of what people might say if they're not entertained by something. I think it's that's it. Yeah, but the festival. I think they tried. Out, they didn't really need the push. Legendary yeah, but all of the same day. If you're a veteran, there's. I think it's the veterans that they're quote unquote scared of. If you're a veteran and you're interested in festivals, you've done all the festival stuff. Like it's done. You, there's no, there's nothing more to really come back for achievement wise or uh, rewards wise because there's not nothing really to get. Well, in terms of rewards, so there's, there's like eleven plus new skins. I mean, that you can get from, needed, through but, daily. Yeah, I mean, I, I get it. it doesn't, no, that, does, that doesn't saying, really but... count. I mean, for what it's worth, I, I actually want to say that um, I really like that. I really like the legendary rune as a reward. I think this is actually a bit of a hot take. I think people are really annoyed at the legendary runes, but I actually think that uh, they are a great piece of horizontal progression. Oh, you know? I love it. Yeah. Um, it should be expensive because it's going to save you a lot of gold in the long run. And it is the ultimate convenience. It is that best in slot. If you have those legendary runes, you will never have to buy runes for this character ever again. Right? And to, to me, that that is a really good thing. Like, people getting triggered about it being expensive just don't understand what... Um, just don't understand uh, how horizontal progression works. That's what Guild Wars 2 is, right? You know, you drop a bunch of gold on it and you get a little bit of convenience. The trouble with legendary yeah. runes right now is that it's not even really that convenient, right? Because it, it's annoying to use. It shouldn't be a downgrade to have this convenience item. And what's even worse is that this new, <laughs> this new UI got forced onto everything, right? Not just legendary runes. This customized thing is now everywhere, right? I mean, what... what... <laughs> What is going on? Oh, Brazil's getting mad in the chat. I we should call Brazil. One thing that actually kind of, I don't know, it bugged me. Because it, it, talking about price for the legendary runes and sigils and whatnot, um, I don't mind stuff being expensive, but they've kind of cost crept the, the necessity for uh, more and more Mystic Clovers. Like Mystic Clovers is all that matters, and now they've just gone above and beyond with it. It was like le legendary uh, weapons and armor. It was all really like well within the limits of like seventy-seven for a for a weapon, and then ninety for uh, for armor, which is like fifteen. I think it's fifteen each or whatever. Um, but then with oh my god, we're getting another one. <laughs> we're getting then another with, one. Uh, with the trinkets and everything, they went with the 77 again. It was like, oh yeah, okay, we're we're going up the ladder here. More more wow, mystic clovers is, for This is a good oh, avatar. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Don't you love a good mind break assault scene in your fucking <laughs> yeah. Your avatar looks like a person underwater or something. How you well, know, she's so. not really underwater. I don't want to describe the scene. It's pretty Anyway. Just assume it's water inks. Yeah, You'll I mean, it, there's, there's a lot of liquid, but it's not water. Oh, okay. it. Ooh. Ooh. Hello, Brazil. Hi. Hi. Hi, yeah. everybody. Uh, Hi. Brazil has now been activated. I'm sure you guys are happy about that. We have summoned Brazil. Uh, but yes, I do continue, uh, by the way, Dora, with regard to the legendary runes. Uh, my only point is that it's unnecessarily expensive. It, it kind of, in terms of the mystic mystic coins, I feel like they're focusing too hard on the on the same uh, few materials that's always being used, and it's mystic coins all the time, and it's mm. just more and more and more. We're up to 120 now for 
the full set. Yeah, and the price just keeps going up on these Mystic Coins, right? It is weird mm -hmm. that they don't add something else to this, because if you take a look at Mystic Coins right now, I mean, this is great for, for my tournament, right? Because it's making the prize pool insanely valuable, but it mm -hmm. is a little bit ridiculous that Mystic Coins just completely dominate every reward. And, and even even worse, right, they're, they're kind of something that... There's not a lot of you can't really farm a mystic coin not effectively nope. right anyway like you you it's it, they're basically the I, what I'd be correct in saying that basically the biggest source of them is just people log into the game right that's you can do the yep. you can do you get some for doing say 100 cm you get a few for doing like the ley line events yeah ats you get One. some from ats as well for it's also disabled though right you are better off just buying uh, another account and logging into it every day than you are doing anything else in the game. It's that that's that's the yeah. horrible part about Mystic oh. Coins. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, oh, fuck, hold on. Let me let me see where's the game. Yeah, it, it's honestly amazing, right? Like um if you I have all if accounts it's worse or better now, yeah. my volume. Oh yeah, I just I, I just I just really I just really I I had you really oh, loud yeah. because you you were on the phone one time when you were debating Zorik and it was getting weird, right? Yeah, it, uh. it was good. Yeah, 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 you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, Mystic Coins, they're, they're, they're definitely a big problem with the economy. It's surprising that they don't get addressed, but I suppose they are just the, the item that is just synonymous with wealth at this point, right? They are a bit of a de facto currency. Even you know, If you want to buy some rage, you're going to be paying in Mystic Coins. And that's just the way people hold currency at this point and do large currency transfers, I suppose. So, I mean, yeah, it, yeah they, do, they do need to do something. Yeah. It, it's funny, actually. I, I, can, can I complain and expose arena net for festival of the four winds right now okay this yeah. festival i recently realized this festival is a massive scam um yeah. i wasn't paying attention to it last <laughs> time uh because i was just i was doing the queen's gauntlet last year but th this festival is horrible so i spent about a thousand gold on you know the stupid boxes right i thought oh you know what i'm gonna have some fun I'm gonna open some boxes gonna get that chack infusion uh, and I got 100 gold out. I lost 90% of my gold. <laughs> yep. Jeez. <laughs> oh, reading it. <laughs> it's a massive scam. <laughs> oh, man, they paid really it, hard. It, <laughs> but, but, but no, I, I, and, and I'm seriously, though, this actually rubs me the wrong way, though. Like, I, I'm not joking, you guys. Like, chat, like, I don't want to see any fucking lulls in the chat. Or, like, Pepe laughs in the chat. This isn't funny. Okay? No, no, no. 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 No, funny. this this isn't funny, guys. I don't want to see any. I don't want to see any like laughing pepes. I don't want to see that shit. I, look, I'm going to ban all of you. You put in. I'm going to ban all of you. Put that in the chat, right? It's, so, a, it's a festival uh, designed to just pull yeah. materials out of the market. Well, this That's is the it. thing, though. Like, isn't it that put anything back in? Isn't that a bit sinister? That arena you, have designed even, this even event. The solo arena. No, that comes no, with no. They designed, I, I, they the designed this, this event to fuck the players. Thing, right? This is the correct yeah. thing to do. This yeah. is the correct thing to do. <laughs> and let me explain why, okay? Explain to it's, us why. Yeah. So oh, why, it's Guru? I'm coming from a place where, like, I haven't thought about Guild Wars 2 in, like, a week and a half. And I was enjoying my Sunday, and I was looking to message someone on my friends list and saw Teapot was streaming and remembered Guild Wars 2 for the first time and however long it was and clicked in, and I see this. And so the wonderful thing about this is that, like, my head is clear. I feel good about myself. I go outside and do things. But all of you are fucking sitting here getting mad at Guild Wars 2. And so ArenaNet is doing this on purpose. They don't want you here. They don't want you in the game. I don't fucking want you in the game. I want all of my friends to go out and do shit in life. And so ArenaNet has come up with the perfect solution. We get all of the rich people, all of the veteran players that have stuff invested to throw it all away. <laughs> the tournament or to the festival of the four wins we disable the automated tournament for the pvpers fucking all that shit and they just they're, they're getting you all to quit that's what they're doing they're actually they've actually been a step ahead of me for once yeah. this is the first time <laughs> they've been smarter than i was i had to figure out what they were it's brilliant though it's it's phenomenal you just need to just just so i've i've seen this thing happen once before i used to know this guy and he got so mad at the game, he salvaged all of his gear on all of his characters. He sold everything, vendored everything, and then he auto-clicked a waypoint until all of his money was gone. And he had no reason to come back to the game after. And he was free. 
He was free he was of Guild Wars 2. Yeah. He was, he was free of the through the field. He, he, was, <laughs> he, he, was, he was free of the shitty community. He was free of it all. Oh, so I, I have to say this is the best this is the best content arena that's ever added. The yeah. Festival of the Four Winds. Like, because it's actually it's getting people where they need to be in life. Uh, but, but just just to be real for a moment, like, I, I genuinely disapprove of this, right? I, I think this is a really shitty thing to put in the game. But I, I it, agree. It, it hurts when you have to pull the band-aid off. Like it, it, yeah. it doesn't. <laughs> so I dropped I dropped a forty five pound plate on my toe when I was lifting Ooh. the other day. And it split my toenail right at the base, and it didn't hurt. Well, no, it, it didn't feel good. It did hurt when I pulled it off. But I ripped it off, and now it's and it's good. Now I'm fucking doing my deadlifts without a toenail on one ah, foot. But it's okay. Ow. It's just fine. You guys just 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 go in right now. Everyone watching, all of you, just. Just yeah. uninstall the game. Well, I, just go spend all your money in the festival and then uninstall the game. I'm just, free. I'm just a little bit triggered, right? Because not only do they put this in, which the sole purpose of this festival is kind of screw over the player base, right? Okay. Yes. But on top of that, they add a new outfit, which people are obviously going to want, right? Because it's what it's like oh, the, the, the most, outfit. the most yeah, revealing the outfit the ever. Yeah, outfit. Yeah. <laughs> dude, dude. Okay. So, uh, dude, okay. It's not only this, is it in the gem outfit... store, it's also mm -hmm. in a black lion key. So you can't you can't <laughs> even buy it. You have to buy keys and then RNG get the outfit. I mean, what the fuck? So man? a long time ago, uh, two two people at the at the on the fractals team were listening to the community and saying, "Okay, this celestial infusion that we've we've implemented, we did it. We did a shit job. But then again, we did it. We did it instead of the arts team because we wanted a great reward to be in in the game. But okay, let's let's ask the arts team to actually do this. It might be on the bottom of the list for for a while, but it it'll be it'll be produced at some point. All right. Um, fast forward to today. Apparently, it's been made by the arts team, but the two people um, that were actually spearheading that. They're not in the company anymore. So what oh, do you do with no. this art asset? You sell it. Someone had a great idea. They were like, "Oh, you made this anyways. It was on the it was on the to do list. Who put this there? Oh, nobody's taking ownership of it. Hmm. I have a great place to put this. And they did in a black oh, land chest. <laughs> the infusion is a lower resolution than the yeah. It is the, yeah. It was supposed and, to be the that thing that thing that's in the black line uh, black line chest. That's what it was. It was supposed to be. That was yeah, the but this has model. been happening since the Sabbath of many, though. Like this isn't anything new. <laughs> like they, 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 like they go make something, and then like it's just like, oh well, we need something to sell to people, so everyone can feel special and included, and let's just put like the final boss reward or like a back piece that like climbs on you and moves, or like Zara's mask. Because we know that there are people like Brazil that like dick girls and they'll fucking pay actual money to roleplay as one. So, like, I don't know. It's not new. Like, it's it's really not new. Like, it's actually, like, this is, this shit's been going on since fucking Halloween of, like, 2013 or whatever. This is fucking old news. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's still happening. It, yeah, it is. So why, no, 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 no. So this, this is the thing. This is the this is the thing. It's still happening. Why is it still happening? Why? Money. Well, it's easy because money, right? Because people, 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 people keep falling People are for funding it. them. People yeah. keep fucking paying and doing it. And now that's why we have fucking shit like videos that are like everything wrong with Guild Wars 2. Oh, with oh, the oh, no. partners being toxic. Oh, no, no, no. no. This, is, this is what happens, boys and girls. <laughs> this is what happens. Come on. Like, it, it's easy. You just don't fucking give them any money or you just don't play the game. Like it's cool. I thought that like Guild Wars Two was like the end and the end all and be all of fun. And then I fucking bought a camera, and like went outside and started fucking doing photography. Got a job, unlike Zorik. I'm like just like, <laughs> fucking do shit now. Like it's cool. Like real life is fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. It, no, is, it, it is. It is. I actually it is. agree. Yeah. I just yeah. got back from Hawaii on vacation. I, this is a fun story, actually, but you probably won't like it if I tell it. It's a good story. Okay. Well, I, I, I yeah, I, Wait, I suppose will, we can. Will we not like it because it's no my it's my a story girlfriend? Of... I'll I'll tell it anyways. Oh, okay. So let's, let's go. Let's go. For I was the story. staying with my girlfriend in her house, 
and her furniture was gone because it was in storage. She was about to, and so we got a bedroll to sleep on the floor with and misbehave and literally fucking tore holes through it going at it so hard <laughs> literally like ripped the fucking bed roll to goddamn pieces with my knees and her elbows it was amazing you can't fucking get that in Guild Wars 2 you can't buy that shit in the chest <laughs> the yeah I mean they're gonna try probably dude I mean <laughs> yeah like I mean is just 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 stop stop making tea time stop complaining about the game stop fucking playing it just go out and do real life it's easy easy <laughs> easy <laughs> that's true right. i mean you're, you're unlikely to find real life in the gem store i'd be impressed if they were able to fit all of real life within the gem store that would be impressive to me yeah i'll yeah. pay for it no uh, i don't know it, 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 it just, it just, i just got a little bit triggered at the fact that i realized that this festival is not for the players right no it, it just it just feels whenever i see something like that in guild wars 2 it's actually a credit to them i'm going to slightly compliment reading it like it it feels out of place when i think a, a lot of the game is designed to be very convenient and fun and enjoyable right for for the players to enjoy but this festival the only reason it even exists is because a reading it kind of fucked up the economy and they're just trying to drain stuff out of the you know they're trying to drain drain materials out of the out of the players hands and into the into the nothingness that you know they they will they will give you nothing for something oh no i i i, I just don't like that that's just you know they should they should not they should not do that it's a bit it's a bit messed up right and the, and the whole thing with like the queen's gauntlet as well. Uh, if you wanna if you wanna play with a bunch of gambits on right, and you wanna try and try hard and do Toriosa, for example, with all gambits. Yeah, you know, well, I've got some great news for you, buddy. Right, you're gonna have to really grind out a lot of those festival things because you're gonna need to spend seven, uh, you know, seven tickets every single time to get in. I don't know. It's, it just seems like a bit of a, a bit of an unfun um, and uh, just needlessly, uh, needlessly unfun and punishing. Oh uh, yeah, and then you have to What's wait in line as well. Punishing festival. What, it, it, yeah, the waiting in line is just. Ugh. What's a shame is it didn't. The original festival wasn't that way. You got tons of tickets for doing the, for farming in a circle or whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah, but the problem with that was like the original festival was for people to go and practice and like get better at the game, and like grind out farm dead eye done well with like some actual skill and do Audrey and shit. And, like it wasn't easy. Like, you could get good at it after doing it for a little while, but then you could just grind out money and go buy a legendary or whatever. But, like, now it takes literally years to get legendary armor and to get to the in-game content. <laughs> and we have toxic <laughs> partners, and we just need to get rid of it. Like, this is the problem with Guild Wars 2. Do you I'm think assume that's from that video. Do you think the toxic what partners should be banned, don't, Brazil? Don't, don't, yeah, no, banned. Don't, don't. Yeah. <laughs> just... Cut it, boys. No, yeah. we can't. Deroyer no. is right. We should. We shouldn't uh, talk about that. I, I, I stopped. Uh, listen, uh, I'm just uh, gonna say I stopped watching once I really realized that she baited me. No, like, mm, 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 <laughs> cut. What? Let's, she did. Cut. She baited yeah, me with the yeah, title. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, let's just cut it there, boys. All right. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, you know, it, it, and it is true. Just by doing, just by doing the running around in circles, doing the queen's uh, the boss blitz is actually pretty good. You can get a good chunk of, um, a good chunk of those tokens. But still, I don't know. I, I don't like the fact that you have to kind of pay for additional difficulty. Uh, you know, yeah, and you don't really get rewarded for it at all. But that, you know, that's that's besides the point. That's just that's kind of nothing. They They're took no away the reward for for the updated version. That's the best part. Wait, really? What it did used, they do? It used to be that the way that you got the recipe of Lissa was through the uh what's it called the gambit thing or whatever really uh, oh shit. yeah yeah the oh, arena no. the solo yeah. arena they took that away they put it in a in an rng box that doesn't give it to you and then they just the said box. huh it was always in the rng box the no, in the, the grand in the, was it the back, for the back pieces okay so the original version of the uh what's it called the fucking the thing under divinity's reach you know what yeah. i mean yeah, okay. It might have been RNG boxes. I forget how you actually... No, it always it. was, because I had more, like 17 more boxes that you, you could get more boxes from doing the... Or you got the boxes from doing the actual arena. Yeah, like the I solo so. arena. That's how you were farming it. And now they've stripped away any and all rewards. Like the RNG boxes, the recipes, whatever. It's all stripped from that solo arena in favor of just converting it to... Like converting your tickets into tokens. 
tokens that don't buy you anything. And they've taken those same rewards and they put it in an RNG chest that you buy by just throwing materials away at a vendor. I like that. I think that's the correct thing you do. I mean, it pissed me off the first time around. That was last year when it yeah, came Yeah, so why are you off. still playing? That's the, that's the real <laughs> question. Here, right? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You and I, we've crossed paths a few times. And the problem is, is that we both come away from the exchange realizing that I was wrong. Wait. <laughs> Every single time. What? Every single time this has happened. What? We look back right. on it, and I was right. And this is no different. It may take a little, maybe it takes until the next festival next year. And then maybe that's when it clicks. Whenever you, you're on your warrior, your Norn warrior, big dick girl, Norn warrior, max height, max bear form, max fear me. And you go to do it, you go to pull off the stunt and it doesn't work. And then you realize, fuck, you was right. I should have quit the game a year ago. He was right all along. Brazil I was, was always, always right. right it, it is a shame that they didn't update the... Uh bag loot vendor what is it called loots of bags of loot or whatever what you mean the zephyrite chests thingies this, yeah no well not well not not so much the chest but the there's that event where you gotta collect the bags of loot in the cliffs yeah yeah the oh, treasure yeah. Vendor the treasure the hunter, and the kites but yeah the treasure yeah they didn't update that at all so this year when you complete all of that even for the very casual player you get all those rewards. There's nothing else to do with them, really. I, yeah, I mean, supply I, bags, I, which are garbage. But it, that's not the only thing that wasn't updated. Nothing was updated in the in the whole festival. Like nothing was changed mm. except for adding those extra the daily weapons. Yeah, yeah, they I, were updated, I don't think that's really. That's I don't think that's really that surprising though, because what they were doing is when they updated all the festivals, right? Was they set them to a baseline, then they can just repeat them, right? And they're going to have them automated now. A lot like well, it's kind of what they want to do, right? They want to have all of the uh, oh, yeah. festivals just go around in circles and automate, right? So it, it's in a way what they're trying to do is reduce if they ever have a content drought, they want to reduce the drought, right? Between episodes, they want to say there's always something happening in the game, right? Um, and in a way, they're going to get that, right? Like as Ink said earlier on, we're not really in a drought here, right? We're, we've we're kind of week after week, something's happening in the game. There's a boss rush, right? There is. Festival of the Four Winds, right? There's going to be, I don't know, there was that weird, funky world versus world thing, which was kind of funny as well, right? You know, there's, there's there, there are things happening in the game. Boom, 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 boom. But, uh, you know, we just haven't had any any uh, content updates, right, for a while, I suppose, right, in terms of, you know, that living story. But, you know, the, it hasn't been that long, as you say. It's been what? Uh, how long has it been? Like two and a half months or something? Wasn't that three months? Somewhere around there. I think, I think the reason why I was using the word drought earlier, and I think the reason why a lot of people feel like everything's a way off like a long way off is because we don't know when the next thing is happening like yeah, absolutely every, right. every, everyone's just going crazy for the 30th because we think that we're gonna have an answer to our big question which is what is happening and when is it happening and is something actually happening mm. not only that but and this is going to sound pretty odd but arena net has pushed a lot of these events and festivals so close together that's a very cute penguin is that a penguin? Yeah, it's, it's a an penguin. owl, isn't it? Oh, this one's a penguin. That one's a penguin. I saw the other one. Yeah. Did Matt give that to you? Yeah. So cute. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, the difference between mine and yours is that mine's silver and round and fits in my. Well. <laughs> So, I'm so glad it cut out right <laughs> yeah. there. The last syllable just took. <laughs> uh, but anyway, what I was saying was that they actually have a lot of these mundane events so close together that people get burnt out on doing world boss rush for example like very quickly yeah like, and from yeah, festival to festival the same things in a, in a row yeah with all content so so even though the game is trying to keep you busy some people are like well i don't really want to do that because i just did that two weeks ago or three weeks ago mm. Mm. Well, it's not nuanced. Well, I I also feel that you, a lot of these activities are basically the same, right? As well, like I I know, yeah, of course, it's an MMO. It's going to be somewhat samey, but gameplay is so unvaried in a lot of these festivals, right? It's like oh, go and auto attack some world bosses, and now it's oh, go and auto attack some bosses in a little circle, right? It there, there's a lot of it is is rehash right we need to see new content new types of stuff new ways to play the game or different ways to play the game whereas it stands right now it, it's it's very very samey right and i think that's why the um the world boss event what happened with that by the way actually because it looked like we were going to fail the tier five 
but we got the tier five anyway. What happened? Did they just give it to us for I, free? No, it's on a timer. I don't know. All the world bosses are on a timer, and they know exactly how many are actually completed. Like, it, it, there's no surprise to it. It's just this is but, going to succeed. It's just a matter know, but, of time. But here's the thing. I felt like tier three to tier four. Like I played a lot. I, I played. I I must have killed 26, 27 bosses in a row that mm. day. Like Damn. spent all day just killing bosses. And it barely moved at the tip of at the very end of tier three, but then on does the last it, day, does it matter how many people play? Actually, I don't. Well, that's just I, it. I think I, it, like you said. I think the it just ends. Defeated. Like, yeah, I, I just think that the it's not really a conspiracy, conspiracy, but I, I think that they just sort of speed it up or give more more experience or whatever at the end just to have it finish on time so i that makes me ask a want to ask a question so if it's like tier five or whatever and you don't shit into the vendors are you supposed to have like a better chance at getting stuff are you supposed to get like more stuff to dump into the vendors or like however it goes like do you have more incentive to throw things away the no. higher the reward tier is no i mean it's a scam right well, yeah I'm just wondering if, like, the scam, like, if they're just making it scale up artificially just so people always feel the need to throw a bunch of shit away. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, just, I, 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 don't know have, how, I don't know how it works. I don't know I mean, how I it works. They have, they I, have, I would love to know. Thing from there. So, yeah. And I, I seen Dorn tweeting about this. I would love to know how many moats, the lucent moats or whatever they're called. I would love to know how many they got out of the yeah. community. Well, yes, please. I, 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 that little I, Jesus event. fucking Christ. I, I, that I, I, was I, the I, most I, horrid can, thing. Can, 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 we can we talk about that? Isn't it a bit weird that they're... They've added events like this. Do you remember the um the one to unlock skins, like the the mad guy with like the ingots? Mm. And, Let's throw and... away mithril ingots. Yeah, yeah. Like, Let's artificially it, drive up the price to it, get something that but, nobody wants. But seriously, can we can we actually talk about this? Like, why is ArenaNet doing that? They're they're literally scamming their own player base. Uh, yeah. Why? Why are they it's doing somebody, that? Somebody somebody bought a MacBook and it broke on them, and they realized <laughs> we should be doing. It. This is what this is the perfect business model. I think, yeah, I mean, it is it is just price manipulation. I think they're scared of how much gold is actually in fluctuation. Like, they can't really effectively give anything good worth gold because everyone has so much of it. And they can't really, uh, and they still have to set it pretty low because all the new players have to keep up with everyone else. So everything is just artificially super, super cheap. And the way to kind of... I don't know, adjust it slightly is to have the rich people dump their gold. Yeah, but the materials. problem with that is that the rich know. people aren't going to do that because they're not idiots. Yeah, the very rich people won't. Yeah, no. like they're, 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 yeah, they're a little smart. Yeah, there's a smart. reason why they're rich. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're way smarter than the rest of us who are spending time on this. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's, it is unusual. It's very unusual the, to me. The why would I do that? To that? Is to just like. I think what ArenaNet needs to start doing is to charge people a tax that's a percentage of their account value, like for every day that they log in. So the rich people that they don't want <laughs> the to rich be, people they, just they don't log in. Yeah, they don't want those people to be playing. So it's easy. They just don't play, and then they keep their money. Tax and all the people that the have wealthy. fucking shit all anyways like it doesn't matter to them they're just going to grind and buy gems anyways oh also <laughs> no 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 this is better you can offset the tax by for one hour for each gem that you buy with oh real money. okay yeah okay so 400 no that's actually probably needs to be like a minute Probably trying to minute. give them more ideas to have yeah to no i know to. this is this is this is what they need to be fucking doing this is fucking strategy Arena, I'm helping you. You need to hire me. You need to employ me. <laughs> See, I've been... I made people hate your game for free for a yeah. long time. And then I was on contract to do it. And then you finally got rid of me. But now you can you can get me on a W-2 and you can hire me. <laughs> and I can move to Seattle and you can pay me a salary and benefits to get people to quit your game. See... <laughs> This is they're doing that on their own. Need, they don't they don't need to you pay need, you for that. You need me. And just give me like a senior you management need, position. You need me. You need and me. I'll fire everyone else in the company. And it'll just fucking be me and Mike. 
and we'll go I'm out sorry, and get Mike, coffee. I've got to let you go. <laughs> we'll just skip <laughs> everyone. Easy. <laughs> Mute him, please. What the fuck is this? The chat. The chat is displeased. Good. Yep. <laughs> it's working. It's already working. Yeah. Yeah. We're well, yeah waiting. back to that that event. Um, mm. With the with the mystic moat to unlock the recipe, you have to throw away the same material that you had to use to craft the actual thing yeah. that was coming out of nice. it. Nice. And and it was it was already expensive. Now it's just horrendously expensive. Yeah. Because they've just drained the market of however much they actually did. The, but the funny thing is, like people aren't stupid. Like I genuinely feel like it was. I felt like we were like rats in a maze. Was it, was it, uh, who was it that said it on one of the other podcasts, actually? I genuinely felt like we were at Rats and Yeah, Mates. Doombox, yeah. Doombox. Yeah, Doombox, exactly. Because um, it was like, how stupid are you to throw this away? Like, how many people will actually throw the very material that they can make bank off of away so that some people can get the legendary runes? Like, if you have no intent on getting the legendary runes ever, or... I don't know, for the foreseeable future. Why the would you throw your materials away? The community there's, effort. There, there was nothing in it. Friendliest yeah, MMO community. Community effort. Community Friendly effort. effort. You got, you got an RNG do, box I mean, that was never going to pay out, but you got an RNG box out of it. I love loot boxes. It's yeah. so stupid. It's such yeah. a stupid event. It really was. Yeah, it's a weird mechanic. Like, if you're gonna add legendary runes, just just add it to the game, right? Like, don't try and scam the players. And then no, 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 mm -hmm. no, Teapot. They have to. They don't have artificially to, inflate the price it. of the fucking thing. Yeah, no, no. They need to do that. They need to drain the economy of all the materials yes. you need to make it. Here we go. Fucking Inks is on to something. He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> that that's the smart way to do it. To make it rare. To make it legendary. Yeah, legendary runes. You gotta bring the energy, man. Well, I don't know. I I suppose like well, I, what should they do then? Okay, what should they do? Like if they if if Arena just wants to the runes. if if just release well, the runes. No, no, okay. so okay so but they're, suppose they're giant sink in their in themselves. Mm. You need twelve stacks of the same thing that we we're throwing away. But almost stacks. nobody is going to do it. Though. Here's the thing, right? Like, almost nobody will craft it. Like let's be honest. Like how many people are actually going to make the, the legendary runes? Like yeah, they're bugged and they're the, the UI is a bit not good. But if ArenaNet have now realized that they need to stabilize the economy. What should they actually do in the game to fix that? Like, how can they rectify this? Because all that's going they on can. right now is that people are just hoarding stuff, right? People are just they, hoarding. But well, they realized everything. a long time ago. They realized a long time ago that they fucked up their economy. And that's why for season three, they introduced new materials every single season or every single episode. Every single episode, you get a new material that you need for the newest reward. And they've kept this trend going. That's how they're artificially trying to just like keep gold at bay because you can't buy unbound magic. You can't buy volatile magic. You can't buy bloodstone rubies or any of those other account bound materials. You have to actually go and play. They realized years ago that they fucked it up like beyond repair. There's no there's no going back when everything is tied to gold. All of your core materials are tied to gold. You have to make a new system to buy stuff. And they did. And they've done like that ever since you want to know my actual like real thought on this because i i think i actually have a, like a real solution not just telling people to quit <laughs> i think that they yes, should make like an official rmt form of some kind where they just take a percentage like through paypal or something so you can cash people... out you can actually cash out yes so people can cash out and they just take a cut of like, I think that's how you do it, because you just get people, like, obviously, I'm not fucking stupid. There are a lot of fucking problems with this, and hackers and botters and scammers like me and myself, like, <laughs> there's going to be that, and you're going to have to figure out, like, that side of it. But I think that Chris Cleary is capable of solving that problem. But, like, I, I think they really need, like some format to let people sell things for real currency so other people can take it that are going to have to farm and then just they can just dump it and do whatever they want and the rich players that have chris cleary left ain't months ago is he actually not there anymore 
Uh, I'm not sure no, about that. There. Yeah, I think somebody he's... just leaked his Twitter status like a minute ago. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think that's true. No, I, 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 I think he's capable, but like, I, I think they really like, I think that's the only solution at this point because they've just like fucked it up every time they've tried to fix it. I think they just need like yeah. a real money marketplace. It, I think what they should do is when they lose a person on their team, they should actually hire somebody to replace that person rather than just give those responsibilities to somebody uh, else or just forget they exist. Well, I, whenever you fire the person whose sole job is to like fill up the candy jars and stock the refrigerator, like, I don't think Ooh. you should replace them with another yeah, person you do the same them. thing. Oh Who's my God, it? here we go. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Have, somebody's <laughs> got to fill the candy jars. What the hell? <laughs> I, I could do that job. Hire me, Reed, and I'll fill your candy jars. I mean, that shit well, up. To, if, if we can talk about the economy for one second, though, right? Like, if what what is the problem? Someone tell me what the actual problem is right now. Is it people have too much gold? Is that what it is? People have got too much stuff. The prices are, are, are yeah, kind of gold go is just inflated, I guess. Well, is, is it gold? Yeah, but that happens. But is it really that, that bad? Though? It, de it definitely happens. I, the, yeah. That's not necessarily an issue. But the, with regards to the inflation, though, what, what's the um? There isn't that much inflation, right? Like legendaries have no, been stable. Haven't. They're stable at like... Inflation. We haven't even gotten close to that. But yeah, but... That, because we have other things tied to, to the rewards. Yeah. But it, I such mean, as like the season currencies. All the legendaries are like stable at say two and a half thousand gold and have been for a while now. Yeah, for like um, four years. I think Mystic coins are overpriced, right? Now, this is this is definitely true. That that's that's for sure true. Like, I, but they should just add more sources of Mystic coins into the game. They tried to do this with... Um, PvP automated tournaments, but you know, just put it put it in the game. Like, why not put Mystic coins in these festivals? But, but okay, like, okay, should they yeah. actually do that, or should they find other systems for making the legendary runes and sigils? The problem right now with le legendary runes and sigils is that they were impl implemented as basically a core system, as in you don't really need to play the game at all. You just need gold, and that's it. That's you're done. You can buy them. That's the issue right here. You don't have legendary insights. They're they're not gated behind actually playing the game in any way, shape, or form. It's just a gold sink. That's why they're that expensive. So my question really is: Do you do we need to adjust Mystic Clovers and, and Mystic Coins, or do we just need another method for acquiring legendary uh, weapons? I well, think so, or legendary gear. If, I think so. If you were going to do that, though, you'd have to make it completely disconnected from gold, because the reason why I think they don't bother to add something that is that replaces a mystic coin you, you is don't because have it... to completely disconnect it. Sorry for interrupting. Yeah, yeah, you, no, you go, like, yeah, you go ahead. Take yeah. the ascension. Take the ascension, for example. Yep. The only gold cost there is a mystic tribute, and that's not actually that bad. The rest is actually just play the game. Well, that. It, don't we want to draw? Don't we want to make players spend gold though? Isn't that kind of the objective here? Is to draw gold out of the economy somehow? When we is that the objective? Well, isn't it? Isn't I, it to play the game? Well, I I don't know. Like I, I think Arena want with with all this stuff, right? They want to. They're trying to drain gold out of the economy. Is what they're oh, trying yeah, they're to do. They're trying to do. I I yeah. but I I kind of disagree in in that that yeah, regard. I, I'm not entirely we certain if it's even just have other thing. avenues of getting the rewards. Yeah. Like, just don't make gold the gold standard, basically. Mm. I know that that sounds kind of, but huh. make us play the game. Because what is? I was just thinking, like, is everyone really rich in in the in the game? Like, because I'm just thinking, no, right? Like, not not everyone's rich. I, I think no, most players are most players are kind of poor, right? And don't really have yeah. don't really have anything. So, I'm. It's really curious to me that they want to drain a lot of stuff out of the economy when people are kind of you know, already it's, impoverished as it stands right well, now, right? It's because when people don't have gold, they buy gems and convert it to gold. Oh, oh. I mean, <laughs> that's why they want to drain the gold. <laughs> oh, shit. Do you, think, that, do you but, think so? But those who are really rich just become even more rich. They don't, they, they never buy gems. The game. People yeah, that are really never rich gems, no. never spend any money on the game. No, never. they have no reason to. They don't have to. And and with these festivals and stuff, they become more rich because they're not spending their money on yes. supply boxes and shit like that. They're they buy you know, mats. They already know the items to buy ahead of time so that they can cash in when the festival comes. Yep. 
that's pretty much it. Yeah, I, I mean, you're not. You're, the thing is that you'll never be able to counter those people. So what are the, who are they? Uh, aren't is aren't they actually just targeting like kind of like the the poor yeah, people? They're incentivizing uh, people I mean... <laughs> to, to spend money. That's the thing. That's why they're draining it. <laughs> Which is why it's wrong to drain the gold out of the economy. Like, I mean, we don't necessarily need to change the rewards or whatnot, like to drive yes. down the prices of things. Snoops is right. I mean, for, sure, that's gaming cool, the casuals. But... Yeah, they're scamming the cash flows. Yeah. Gotta get, gotta get that, gotta get that moolah from them. I mean, yeah. yeah. Hold on, eat the hold rich. On, hold on. Wait, wait, Tax wait, wait. the wealthy. Did you just say eat the? No, I'm yes, eat the rich. Eat did the you rich. just? Did you really just say that? I just read it aloud. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you <laughs> idiot. That. Did you really just say that? Yes, I did. The rich wow. taste better. Oh, yeah. There's so much fat in it. Flavorful. Mm. Here we go. Oh yeah! Anyways, oh yeah! The no, nullification no, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we've got to give Zach some material real fast. Wait. Scam the casuals. Scam the casuals. Exploit the casuals. Eat the casuals. Eat the TP barons. This is this is this is about the money. This is about the gold. This is about the mystic coins. This is about the economy. Scam the casuals. Fuck the casuals. <laughs> Here you go. There are your Great sound clips. Dodges his money. Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh boy! And Zach's been getting some crazy stuff, man. Recently, he's, he's been, been man. He's yeah, been yeah, 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 yeah. Fire. Yeah. Oh. 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 Okay. Furnace taken. <laughs> I don't know what that one is, but uh, I, I hope it, I'm good enough. It, yeah, it, it's an anagram, Brazil, for for <laughs> something else. What? It's an anagram. What do you what do you think it might be an anagram for? I don't know. I'm not good with manipulating language. Yeah, it's uh, it's well, I'll, I'll give you. It's two words, and one of them is a reading net. I'll I'll just I'll just say that. And you can yeah, you can try. You can, oh. you, you can guess the other one. Fuck arena net. <laughs> it, it may well. Yeah. yeah, but I I could just say that though. I don't need to say furnace taking. Yeah, well, I don't know that the chat. Look, the chat are proud of this, Brazil. You got to give them really that, like okay? Furnace, right. look, look how proud they are. Look at them. Yeah, come on. You know they're 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 putting the good memes in. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Oh Very well. Good. Yeah. I mean, I mean, fair enough. I I didn't. I, I wasn't expecting Deroy just to like drop bomb there. I mean, I I, I guess it makes sense though. They're, I guess they wouldn't be able to buy gems and get some gold if they need gold. But I don't know. That's. That seems a little bit sinister, though, really. And I, I didn't realize it was that, uh, that evil. Evil. Yeah. Arena and exposed. I don't know. I'm not sure about any of that. But, um, you know, I mean, some, some other stuff is has happened as well, though, right? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. It, it is super sinister. I don't oh. know what you're on. Oh, oh shit. Dude, he's... He's, 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 he's... Yeah? Is Noxy still here? Noxy, he's still, still here. I'm, I'm back. Noxy, yeah. hello. Noxy, come in. Noxy, guys, we need Noxy right now. This is, we need Noxy to save the casuals. We Calling 111. Noxy, Noxy, please save the casuals. Please save the casuals. Mm. Okay, so, anyways. We, 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 Noxy, you've got to do Sorrow's Embrace story mode and do the fucking, like, golem boss in the lava at the end. And whenever it goes down into the fire, it has to be a big furnace taken. You have to. You, you're smart. You can figure out how to do it, but that's you got to do it. You got to <laughs> save the casuals. You've got to uh, do it. Oh man. So well. Okay. Let, let's. You know. This is an, this is that's interesting topic. Actually. Let, let's talk. About, let's talk about the economy in the game then. So like, you you think that it, it really is ultra ultra sinister then, Dora? And they're, they're trying to get people to buy gems by yeah. draining all the gold out. Yeah. Yeah. I don't necessarily think that they they think it's sinister. It's just yeah. That's that's the goal to make money. Right, and I definitely think that that's the it's reason. That's, to, that's uh, correct. Why do why do we uh, just nerf all the gold farms? Why do we just take away all this all the uh, actual cool Dude. rewards that you can get through uh, through playing the game? Why do we make it minuscule a minuscule chance to get anything cool in the game? Holy shit! I mean, it's all to make money. You know I, why else would they have dude, a system of converting you guys are uh, gems into gold? You are shattering my illusion right now. Dorai, I, I'm, you, you, sorry, but, Dorai, yeah. what the fuck? Guys, this is messed up. Like This festival has like genuinely smushed me. Like No joke, dude. Because I had... <laughs> Yeah, I had this weird discussion with Valen where Valen was telling me how like all Arena wants to do is make is like get that fat 
stacks, right? You know? Yeah. And now this festival is like, dude, this festival is a goddamn scam. And now DeRoyer is telling me that Arena just wants to, to get that big money out of the player base. I'm thinking, whoa, dude, this is messed up. This is yeah. crazy. It, it doesn't seem very... Pro well, because I've always said... The, oh yeah, the Twitch cops are here as well. We're in trouble, boys. I've always we said that. The Twitch cops are here. Yeah, the, the Fuck you. Whoa. Oh Whoa. Calm down. You look. He's gonna ban you. Okay. And then then Good. yeah. Ban me. <laughs> it's at Ghostly Infusion. Ban my ass. Go fuck yourself, Twitch cop. No. Oh Jeez. my God. Whoa. Oh my God. Whoa. Okay. You know what? Ban uh, Mighty Teapot. Wait. No. No 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 no, no. 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 <laughs> oh. Oh my God. This is Monkey TOS right now. This is this is getting crazy. Holy shit! Well, never mind. Don't you know? Don't don't mind. Don't mind us here. Uh, Twitch, <laughs> Twitch police. Leave it. You know, we're, we're just minding our own business here. Anyway, uh, and I understand that ArenaNet as a company has to make money, obviously. But I, I, up until well, I guess now I, I was thinking, you know what? I guess it was. Um, you know, it was. I, I thought they were very, very, you know, pro consumer and consumer friendly. But honestly, I made my maybe. I guess maybe I was slightly over. Uh, I mean when you, uh, when you cater to the cash rules, when you cater to the cash rules and the people with jobs and the people with with a lot of, with not a whole lot of free time. I mean, how do how how else are they going to make gold in the game? Those players, it's by buying it. They have jobs. They have money. No, that's actually incorrect. I mean, okay, they have jobs. I would argue. <laughs> Some that. of them have jobs. Okay, there we go. Now you Wait, got it. Is the stream dead? No, no, no. no they're, they're, they're pretending that we've been banned because. Oh my God. Yeah. Because that's chat. Yeah. That's the chat, dude. That's, that's Twitch culture. This that's, is the Guild yeah, Wars 2 fun. community. Toxic part. Oh, dude. Jebated. They got you. Look at you. They got you, dude. Yeah, they got me. You got jebated. Wow. Yeah. There's, another, there's another thing, too, um, that's pretty well known. Do you know why so many. Uh, video game companies say friendliest community. Why? The reason is because if you say it enough and people actually believe it, they'll feel safe within that game community. And if people feel safe, they're willing to spend more money on your game. Is that true? Smart, right? Absolutely I feel like true. Phoenix went to business school. Yeah, it's absolutely true. That's why they don't want your community, t -Bot. Yes, that's actually correct. If you feel safe within a community, within a game, you're more likely to spend money than not because yes. you feel safe. Economics 101. This is the title of the this tea time. Well, I mean, that's probably a little bit past economics 101. <laughs> but yeah, ultimately what it comes down to is I I I I had a friend who well I guess I still have the friend. He put it very he put it very well once. You have to be able you have to you have to be willing to step on everyone, but make it feel like they're winning. They have to think they're winning, but you're getting what you want. You have to be willing to completely just rub them into the dirt, but make them feel like they're winning. And that's how you run a business. That's how you do it. Black line chest skin. What does it mean to feel what, safe what, in an MMO? What the fuck are you typing in chat, Teapot? What is this? No, he's just blown away. <laughs> that's teapot so lagging it, his, his so what it means to healthy. feel safe in any game is to feel accepted to not feel like people are being yeah. toxic towards you to not you have to feel like there out. there aren't people like me right so to, to, to not be harassed by brazils there you go <laughs> <laughs> wait i mean dude I, oh, is it is it like everybody's dude, friendly? It, right? Is it log into the game? Why did it take you this way? long to figure it out? Is it is it wrong that I didn't even think think of this up until literally now? <laughs> Th this is too fucking real, dude. I, I can't, dude. I can't take this. Look, this is way too much. This yeah. is way too real. Was I really that? No I, wait, I don't know. Well, Ben's here. Oh my god. Ben? Hi, Ben. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Ben. We how, love how, you. How on point are we right now? <laughs> Let us know in the chat. Yeah. I, I don't know, dude. Don't don't bring Ben into this. Th this you is, are now aware. I uh, I I the thing like about it, see the, the thing awakened. about business. I'm woke. The thing about business is the people that are successful don't have the capacity to care about other people. Like they they don't have that. Like you you look at your like mom or your dad 
or like a friend and you're like, yeah, I enjoy them. They make me happy. I feel things. Yeah, people that run companies don't ever have that experience. They look at other people as just like, like it, it's, it's like an object. Like they, they're not, there's no Psychopath. organic connection. Well, no, not necessarily that even. Like there, there are a few things that could contribute to that, but like it's, they just don't see people the same way. Like it just doesn't work that way. So like that, that's when, like, that's obviously what's happening at the company. What do you, Brazil, that's not true. They're able to look past it. No, you're wrong. I'm sorry. But yeah, like that's, that's how it is. People that are successful in the business world, they, that's how it goes. That's just how it goes. It's about those numbers. I feel like we really need a Guild Wars yeah. 2 branded tinfoil hat. Do you, do you want to do you want to know like the really scary stuff? Okay. I I have I I I I have connections with people and friends with people who like in the gym store. Yes, that's where I get. <laughs> and so like <laughs> you literally like this 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 world is like you have you have guys that go out and get married and like have marriages and have kids and kids and like wives and marriage that's a sign of like social status and responsibility like those don't matter to them like they're not like i love my kid this is my like legacy blah 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 it's very much like a this is how i can prove to other people that they should invest in me and that i'm worth their time so i can go further and better myself like they don't have like it's it's fucking weird like it's different like it feels uncomfortable to explain and talk about, but that's like the shit you're dealing with. And whenever that comes and takes over the fun indie game studio where everybody was having a blast and making cool shit, that's why you get the gym store and shit. You've, I mean, that's just that's just that's just the truth of it. That's what it is. I've just never really thought Inks about. The, right. uh, I've never really thought about the game this way, to be honest. Uh, in in unironic, I'm not. I guess I am not pretending. By the way, right? I am not pretending. I have never thought about the game in this way. That it would they just that this is why you couldn't do this stuff. I always thought this was a really good thing that was ultra pro consumer, but now now that it's being framed this way, it does kind of seem that they do this on purpose. To yes. make... Ah, no. 100%. <laughs> Everyone complaining about their uh, their economist not not knowing what he's doing <coughs> oh, no, I... for years and whatnot. Just not realize. Holy shit. John Smith. I, I <laughs> actually died. don't think I don't think John Smith knew what he was doing. If you want me to <clears> be completely, <throat> but I think there were definitely people that knew what they were doing. Oh, oh yeah. Do you think the definitely... economy was in a better place when John Smith was around? Uh, is no, he not he's... around anymore? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think he's been around for a long time. No, he's no. That's years ago. John Smith. He's out. Yeah, he's out for. What is that? Two, three years? That was before Path of Fire. Yeah, like three years, I think. Mm. It's someone else or a bunch of else. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. See, like when when you're making a video game, it's so. This is exactly this is exactly what the raid team and the dungeon team did not do. So, like the economics team or whatever, maybe just one fucking person. I don't know. Like maybe they kind of engineered and like set this all up because you have just like the raid team and the dungeon team and fractals and whatever, maybe fractals. I think fractals team got it right. You have to take into account for like those people. They're just going to fucking know life and just go hard as fuck and like set the standard and everyone else is going to look to them. Whether or not you like it, like there's always going to be snow crows doing no updraft gorse of all, like the fucking first two weeks that the mm. raids are out. Like, you can't pretend that that's not going to be in your game. You can't ignore that. Like, that's going to happen. And so, like, it's the same thing with, like, the economy. Like, you have to be aware that there are going to be, like, trading post barons, as I guess that's what the community fucking calls them. Like, you have to know that shit, and you have to plan for it, and you have to guide them accordingly to what you want to happen. Like, you've got to, like... Raids and dungeons essentially just fucking deleted the content and they don't add anymore and they don't give you any reason to keep doing it because they didn't factor in for those people and they don't want those people. 
Yeah, I, I mean, Arena have been very careful about this, right? They make it so you can't um, grind that hard, right? Like, you know, if you, you can't do raids more than once a week, you can't do fractals more than once a day, right? A lot of yeah. stuff is daily lockout. It, you know, you can only get the chest once, right? Um, you know, the rewards are pretty lackluster, but, the, but then, then and then you have like an insanely low chance to get something insane. It is, it's very, very baity, right? Like, they, they, yeah. they hook people it's, into... It's they, like the, it's like the mobile ver game version where... It is a uh, bit mobile you gaming. Can, you, can, you can play once a day, and if you want to get anywhere past that, you can, you can buy a little bit. You can buy something. Well, that's the thing. That's why, that's why I'm getting upset. It. That's why you mm -hmm. guys are, you, you guys are like fucking... You, Blue oh my god. You just, you've red pilled me very, you've like black pilled me here. Yeah, this is fucked up. Yeah. The, the blue yeah. pill is something else. Like, that's, oh, never mind. Yeah, you take that. We have red pill. You, you, you talk to your doctor after four hours when it doesn't work. Oh, that's weird. Weird. <laughs> But, anyways. Yeah, you've, you've got to, you've, you've got to have the little, the puppet masters. You've got to have the 150 IQ total biscuit lawyers that go troll your. Your comedy internet forums. You gotta have that in the back. You gotta <laughs> have that. That's how uh, that's how you develop a successful video game. Oh my god. This is horrible. What do <laughs> I that this is not cool. Can we talk about something else? Yeah, uh, what do you wanna talk about? Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the How's hell? Your birthday, man? <laughs> Dude, I was not expecting this. This is way too real. This is way too real, man. Now the question is, yeah. now the question is, how hard are you acting right now? Not at all. I don't believe you. That's the thing. What the fuck? Okay. You yeah. don't have to believe me. I think Teapot is the puppet master. I didn't I think notice. That's a toxic that's why, arena in the party. That's why he's sitting on more uh, Mr. I think, coins than I think else. Teapot is everything that's wrong with Guild Wars 2. Am I part of the... <laughs> wait, but that's, that's true though. I might be part of the problem. Like for the ERP prize pool, I've got twenty five thousand Mystic coins, about twenty six thousand Mystic oh, coins. What the fuck? That's that's actually more than the that's more than the entire supply on the TP right now. <laughs> wow! Did I ever tell you? <laughs> Send them to me. Me. Maybe I'll be able to complete the legendary runes and sigils. Did I ever tell you about Strife and Strife's Mystic coins? What have what have you got for me? Do you, do you guys remember? Does anyone remember Strife? Yeah, I do. I used back to follow from, his guides. Yeah, back from the time when you would put ruby orbs in your armor instead of scholar because the, the buff was too hard to keep up. So uh, yeah, Strife. Strife went on to work for Blizzard, and he's a financial analyst, as far as I know. I haven't talked to him in a while, but Strife was very correct just way too far in advance so strife knew that mystic coins would become fantastically valuable and they used to be really fucking worthless yeah and so did. strife had max bank tabs for the time like all of those bank tabs i don't remember how many you could have them he had all of them filled with stacks of mystic coins and he bought them for like i, I want to say that they were like one to two silver a piece at that point he bought them. Like yeah, they were fucking dirt cheap. He bought them all and fucking sat on them, and nothing happened to them after like six months. And he said, "I must have failed. I guess I was wrong." And he quit the game and went to work for Blizzard. And the last I remember of Strife was someone logging into his account, botting leather in Codicus's manner, and then salvaging all of his characters. Ouch. And yeah, he got he got. Hacked, Wood and potatoes and I had but, a had a guildmate who did the same thing, except he sold yeah. when they were worth a ton. Yeah, and he never has to worry about anything in the game ever again if he wants it. Yeah. Nice. Nice. They, I don't. I don't. I also don't know if um you guys probably all remember this, I guess, but the um, recipe to salvage the like shards of mist essence or what, that takes a mystic coin. Yep. To break those down. Like, they put that into the game when they were worthless to, like, add a sink to be able to break it down and, like, make ascended rings and shit or whatever. And so, like, that recipe hasn't quite aged very well. <laughs> they actually kind of, well, they kind of rectified that, actually. They, um, they made it so that, um, the, 
the materials drop even at like the high level fractions yeah. as well now so it's not so bad anymore with that one but so you do, yeah. you, don't, like, you basically never need to use that recipe but yeah it's true it was, it was definitely a weird thing uh oh man oh man what else is happening in the game guys is that is that it they disabled the monthly at which is kind of sad feels bad man yeah. why did they do that well it was broken it's because there are some bugs with ATs right now that sometimes it stalls them. You, they don't start properly. They don't finish properly. Some matches go wrong. People get stuck at them. I heard. I had. A, I heard a story actually that um, there was one team. There was one AT where people got stuck in it for an entire day. Right. So if they logged in, they would just be teleported back into the AT for like a day or something. That's what I've heard anyway. Good. And the AT was just. It was just. It was just there. Just forever. It, it was an eternal AT, which is unfortunate. So yeah, they're trying to they're trying to fix that. Yeah. So, but it's a good thing that they disabled it, right? Because oh yeah. Like yeah, a lot of people are upset because the monthly AT is gone. But no, it was definitely a good call because if if bugs happened, people would be very upset. Uh, particularly because it's actually the crown, and the crown is a you know the OG. It's the OG monthly AT, right? So yeah, it was it was a hundred percent. Uh, you know, it was a hundred percent the correct call to disable actually and hopefully they're able to fix it And look, Ben is coming through here some fixes are going up hopefully next week if we observe things are better We may have monthly ATs back in two weeks or so. Ooh, nice. look at that. Oh I'll tell you what actually. Yeah, this is uh, this reminds me uh, We got some more sales figures and some interesting stuff from NC soft coming through um, so Sales are stable basically it's basically the same as last quarter more or less you know, pretty similar. Down a tiny bit, like down like less than ten percent, I think, like five percent or something. So it's, you know, it's the same. The mount skins are working, um, and but on top of that, NCSoft is moving a lot of its games to mobile, and apparently, Blade and Soul Two, and wait, what was the other one? And Aeon Two. Yeah, they're doing they're doing Aeon Two and Blade and Soul Two. They're both going to be mobile exclusives, right? And they were asked if there was going to be a Guild Wars Two mobile version. And what is quite worrying is that uh, they said that they, they couldn't say that there would be a, um, a version of Guild Wars 2 for mobile phones, but they did say that there have been prototypes made for a Guild Wars 2 mobile game. All right, all right, all right. You got me. Look at the size of this fucking screen. I don't want to play a game on this. This is shit. <laughs> There are exactly two things that I do with my phone, and both of them are watching. <laughs> I love how so it cuts if, out if right it's, right. if it's good enough for that, it's good enough for Guild Wars Two. Uh, I don't know. I just I, just I, give me, just give me my my big dick girl Norns Max Max every slider Max yep. T three cultural armor, and yep. I'm fine. I'm, I'll, I'll spend all the fucking money on it that you want me to. <laughs> just if I can have that in portrait mode. I don't want landscape mode. I want portrait mode to be able to look at my my giant dick girl norms. Just give me that arena, that please. I'll take back everything bad I've ever said about this game if I yeah. can just have that one thing. Legendary armor? No, yeah, I'll 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 take back the legendary armor video. Yeah. I'll I'll re-upload it and I'll just call myself retarded the entire time. <laughs> wow, well, you know. Yeah. Holy shit. Well, there you go. That's sure to say. That's, that's big. That is big. And yes, my my cell phone, the Sony piece of crap right here. Yes, it's a piece of junk. Do you know how many people have crappy phones out there? Lots of us. Don't do the mobile thing. Just what? You guys money. don't have phones? Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the, uh, I, I'm so scared. Seriously, I am so scared of the gaming industry right now, dude. Because look, even if you look at NC soft sales, right? It's all fucking mobile games. Mobile games was like, it was... If you add up all their MMOs, it's still like half of what their mobile games are making. I I am so scared right now because I'm just thinking, holy shit, if they ever do Guild Wars 3, it's going to be a mobile game, isn't it? Oh my god! No! I, yeah, I'm I am genuinely terrified. I I I want I need a time I want a time machine. Matter? Where's Matter? I want a time machine. <laughs> 
<laughs> is she gonna bring it? Yeah. Or... Let's let's go back in time and get the Infinity <laughs> Infusion. We need the chalk egg sack. We need the phospholuminescent. <laughs> go back yeah. through time and and get all six infusions Look, and stop Guild Wars I, Three from being a mobile. I game. just don't want. I don't yeah. want to play mobile games, dude. I do not want to play mobile games. Neither do I. Please, I want PC gaming. I want PC gaming, Inks. That's what I want. But you and me, both. I mean. Wouldn't they just be catering to the next generation of gamers? Uh, look, uh, the zoo. Wouldn't look, they, here's a tablet. I don't want to like, fucking play on this. The either. zoomers, Con consoles, and no uh, zoomers. Get the zoomers out. Mobiles. Right. <laughs> That's where the money's at. <laughs> yeah. That's where the next generation is. Well, I I'm, guess the <laughs> argument is you'd be a fool to not uh, go for that market, right? No. They, why can't they just make a good fucking game instead of catering to the Zoomers that like Fortnite and like because fucking dabbing and flossing? We just force fed you the red pill. <laughs> so I, it's so, all about the money. You want to know something why. interesting? Something interesting that I saw when I was in Hawaii. So I went, I I went to a Starbucks in downtown Honolulu to get a drink while I was out with my camera. And there were people in the Starbucks with MacBooks and phones, which is what you would expect in a Starbucks. But they have their MacBooks sitting on the tables, streaming music on YouTube. And they're holding their phones in front of the MacBook screens, <laughs> playing games on their phone, instead of using their phones to stream music and playing games on the computer. It's the fucking. Oh, it, no, it, would, it, it, it wouldn't that. fucking matter. You could you could play games on it. That's a, that it, was the joke. That was the yeah, joke. Yeah, but this it was a bad joke. Sorry. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Jesus. The, the the point is, Inks, you're old and you're gonna die soon, and nobody gives a wait. Fuck. Whoa! It's all about tap. Whoa! I just got caught midlife crisis in. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's all downhill, baby. <laughs> Oh damn! <laughs> give me, give me fucking Elder Scrolls blades. I want my Elder Scrolls. <laughs> damn. Ah. Uh. <laughs> dude, fuck the game industry. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm completely with you, dude. Like, it's, it's what, what the hell has happened here? What the hell has gone wrong? Uh, I mean, money, look, I understand it, right? Like, you know, it's it is it's a financial decision. You know, they've got to make money, but I, I just don't understand why mobile games are taking over. Mobile games suck. I'm sorry, it, I don't yeah. want to. But you can bring it to school. But I want to play a video. I want to play a real game. I don't want to play like some stripped down, oversimplified garbage, right? I want to play a fully, you know, a full deep experience but that's because you're not part of that generation the next generation of gamers yeah you're, so you're an old timer you're gonna die now I'm just, well. i had an alienware m15x r2 laptop when i was in high school that fucker weighed 20 pounds yeah. <laughs> it barely fit in my back and i looked like a complete fucking fat ass nerd carrying it into class and guess what i took that into class and played games on it in class and didn't give a shit and when the teacher told me to leave the classroom, guess what I did? I took the yeah. laptop and I fucking played games in the hallway. <laughs> I didn't give a shit. So it's no, 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 no. The excuse of you can play phone games in class, fuck that. You can do whatever the fuck you want as long as you have balls. Fuck that shit. No, that's stupid. You implying that the so they should buy I, a new I generation and take it in to class have balls? I don't know. I, I need to. I need. I need to. I need to restore my sanity. I need to look at some data. How is PC oh, gaming doing? I need to look wanna, at PC gaming. Are, no, 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 no. I need to find data. out. Okay, what's Have going seen, on? Here? I'll I'll show you some data that will restore your faith in humanity. Let me you know link to this bad boy. Oh, um, I, 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 if you ever heard of Pornhub Insight, wait, what? Is, that show data what? trends for searches and content watch. Let me link this. This is the uh, search history of things that have happened since Area 51 has taken. So the top 20 alien-related searches on Pornhub are as follows. Number one, alien impregnation. Wait, what? Number three, alien hentai. Number four, 3D alien. And then we have all the way down, we've got number 11, alien probe. 
Number 12, animated alien hardcore. <laughs> I'm convinced the human race is much 3D alien monster. <laughs> All right. This, data doesn't lie, boys and girls, and everything. In oh, no. We're, we're okay. No, it's the okay. We're okay, guys. I've looked at the stats. Yeah. I've looked at the stats. Wait, no, why, why, why? Ben is linking me even. This is bad. Yeah. Mobile no. revenues. No, Ben, why would you link me this? Please, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What are we you good, doing? We good, boy. We've got, ah! we've got, a, we've got no. a man on the inside. Wait. Ben, we need your help. We That's need your help to bring I mean, down I, the remote. I almost want to show this. I almost want to show this on stream, actually. So I, I'm looking at a graph right now of the 2012 to 2021 global games market. It's like a prediction, okay? Yeah. It pred so right yeah. now, we're, we're in 2019 right now. Yeah. And it's predicting that... Okay, so in 2012, PC was... Uh, PC gaming was 37% of the market. Now we're already down to 22%. And then it's predicting that by 2020 we'll be not Okay, so we're okay. We're all right. It's going to be 19% by 20. So we're shrinking. But the trouble is, is that mobile gaming is going to kick our ass very hard and this very fast. Oh, this, this, this is bad. This is bad, dude. What are we going to do? Go what do we do? The Zoomers are winning, guys. Yeah. Still under what, the next generation of games. What's a Zoomer? What is this? What's a Zoomer? Yeah. What's a Zoomer? <laughs> it, it, <Go> fast. <laughs> Okay. It's it's um it's like the yeah, it's Generation Z basically. That's why they're a zoomer, I don't, what's right? Generation Z. Uh, if you're born in uh like 1995 onwards or 1996 onwards, I guess technically, yeah, like late 1990s, you're oh. a zoomer. Zoomer. Um, understand. I don't understand why people love playing games on their, even if you've got the top of the line it's Rob excessive. Strix phone. It's accessible. Well, no, I, I think it's I think it's the more than that. Tiny. I think yeah, there's yeah, like tiny. but you can bring it with you anywhere, regardless of where you go. Like you can you can go to your work, you can be in your like middle ages, you can be a, a kid um in your bed, in your couch, in your It's gonna school. kill your battery and it's a tiny shit. That's what screen. we that's what we have uh what are they called? Those uh battery power banks base. for yeah, exactly. Yeah, but also, like, I think it's like you use your phone to, like, call your mom and tell her good night and to Snapchat your girlfriend, your dick. And, like, you use it for a bunch of stuff that, like, you're connected to and attached to. And so, like, there's probably on some level, like, some deep psychological connection. And, like, I don't know, maybe feeling games on playing games on your phone. Yeah, feels and good. I get, I get I that, know. like, the games are free. Like, most of the games are free, right? They just microtransaction the hell well, out of you and, yeah. I guess. and here's the thing guys like, it doesn't matter if even if um, the numbers on pc gaming the actual numbers of people who are playing it doesn't doesn't go down I, it's not that important as such because if mobile gaming is the most profitable sector you're going to see more and more companies move yeah. over to mobile gaming so regardless of of if the actual numbers of you know of, of, of stuff in pc is staying the same because it's proportionally going down and it's more profitable to, and easier to make mobile games and much easier to monetize. It's very easy to monetize. Or oh, you can see some really sinister stuff, dude. Like, the, oh, have you guys seen the uh, the presentation? Like the Let's Go Whaling presentation? Oh my God. It's really what? good. Oh my it's God. Really good. That is very, very sinister. Um, no, it's not sinister. Whaling. That's how they fucking work. That Tricks is e it's evil. Games. It's evil. I need to no. watch it afterwards. Yeah. It's oh not evil. God. It just that's just how it is. Yeah. Oh. Okay. But thank but yeah, you, Ben. It's, it's keep just... but keep saying something like this, Ben. I today I I Ben today's tea time has been way too real. Okay. These all these three Listen. individuals <laughs> are red pilling me, and it doesn't feel good, Ben. I need you, you to. Wanna, you want another one? Like, I open up. I got another pill. Ben, for you. Get, oh. I need the blue pill, Ben. Do Ben help me. Teapot. Yeah. See, even though the, sure, yeah, the market is growing, the market, sure, the market's growing. <laughs> make sure your games aren't too skill based. No, I know, I, I know, I saw that in the stupid <laughs> presentation. Yeah. <laughs> make sure. Your yeah, I've already, ha yeah, I've already skill. seen that. But this make is. Make sure your games aren't too skill based. Mm. Bam. <laughs> Please make shitty games that just are flashy and interesting. This is not yeah. looking good, guys. I need no. someone to give me some good news. Help me out here. Put me back in the Matrix. I want to go back. I have some good news well, for you. Well, once you're, you're taking the gun, there's no way back. Are you ready? I have some good news. You don't have to play Guild Wars 2.
But what? What I want to? You can. You can do something else. But I want to play the video. I want to play video games. What if all the games end up like this? Why do you want to play video games? Because I like playing games. They're fun. Yeah, but there are other things that are fun. Just go back to the old games. I mean, you're safe there. Well, that, that, you know, this is what's happening. This is terrifying. Mm -hmm. I, literally, the only thing that's going to satisfy people who, who want this kind of video game is a 15-year-old game. World, mm -hmm. World of Warcraft Classic. They're, they're literally putting this... That, that's that... Isn't that a bit depressing, though? Like, the, the only way to get that old, classical, old-school MMO fix is a literally, no, they, they, literally they booting up an old it. game. Like, literally they, booting they, up an old game. They knew that. That's why they're releasing it now, because they know that there are people that are jaded that want fucking, like, hard skill and, you know... Nostalgia is, is, a, people, is yeah. a fantastic selling point. They're giving it people, makes, I mean... It makes people feel part of a group. It makes people feel not alone. It makes people feel all these positive feelings. If the they release, is very, very powerful. If they release Wildstar now, like it might have had a better chance, but I think they could have made some. I, I, I don't think the world is ready for Wild. I think it's it's closer to ready now because they're a bunch of jaded assholes that want to fucking like. When's that coming out? I'm super excited for Wildstar. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you know, you know that is actually a really good point, though, Brazzi. If we can kind of extract what you're actually saying out of that, right? Like. Uh, I think that WoW Classic is going to kind of wake people up, right? Yes. To the fact that it's going to, companies are going to realize that, oh shit, people actually kind of do want this, right? Or at least a little bit. So if the, if Wildstar was released after Classic, it, it, you know, it, for some weird reason, it might have actually done better, right? Um, yeah. it, the world so was not saying, ready. They were not ready for Wildstar. We weren't correct. ready. So what you're saying is that we should all cross our fingers for WoW Classic success. Yes. Yeah, I think it's literally everyone's best interest. Otherwise, oh, yeah. we're gonna get okay. fucking Wolfenstein new blood. I'm again. on board. I'm on board. I'm 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 with you. That's a fight. I'll, I'm willing to fight. Not very good. Which what? one's our one? I heard that new blood was not. Yeah, no, it's it's complete fucking ass mode. It's terrible. Feels bad. Okay. Okay. Can we talk? Let's, yeah. let's talk about some nice skill wars too. How about some nice skill wars too? What should we talk about now? Well, we got a big like announcement the on the belt? 30th, Teapot. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We, we already kind of did an that. an announcement though. that there's yeah. going to be another announcement. Yeah, there is going to be an announcement. We're going to find out some things. You know, we will learn things about Guild Wars 2. Uh, but, I mean, is oh, it, yeah. Is there the anything else? I was talking about the that? mount. Oh, I the thought the mount. mount was cute. Yeah, do you like the new mount? There's the, a new wait, mount? Do. Which new mount? Well, I mean, skin. The Raptor. Mount the Raptor skin. skin. The, the Raptor oh, skin is pretty cute. Is that the fursuit? Said, yeah, yeah, Hard it said is. that it was yeah, a fursuit. Yeah, it's a well, furry. No, I want to see it. Someone show me a picture. It? I want to see it. It's like a kangaroo mixed with a, I don't know, furry. dog or something. Uh, I like it. It's cute. Yeah, it's a, it's I mean, a, it's, I usually don't like really cute build. things, but I wish I had it. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I, I, let's, let's, uh, I want to ask Deroya's take on this actually, because I don't think I, I don't think I've got Deroya's take. Are we so two things, expansion and elite specs? Are either no. of those things happening? Uh, no and no. May <laughs> I? Yeah, I, I think their best case scenario is a desperation expansion uh, coming in like two years. Yeah, or, they'll probably so. call it. That's they'll the, probably call it Path of Fire. <laughs> yeah, Path of Actual On Fire. Um, elite specs might come with that, but until then, there's there's nothing like that. No, 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 no. We're looking at season five. We're looking at content. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. I actually think it, here's a here's a a bit of a tinfoil theory. I think the reason why thieves got preparations was because the elite spec got scrapped. Oh Ooh. shit! That I is a, that's, that's a that oh that is a big. All of, all of their small things that they might have been working up towards for uh, any like prep work for an elite spec, it all just got scrapped. We're not doing elite specs. Just cut it out, boys. And they're I like, like that. straps aren't used. No, I mean, we no. have these cool skills because look at the fucking animations on those. Yeah, things. that's true. Actually, that that is actually a big theory. What the fuck? That's yeah. huge. So um, I mean, I mean, I love the preparations. They're really fucking cool. But um, yeah. I think they are a sign of not greener pastures. Let's call it that. Well, what? Yeah, you're what, definitely correct. 
Where does Guild Wars 2 go from here then? Like, what what is... Like, give, give me the... Um, where's Guild Wars 2 in two years' time, right? Like, what's the situation? Like, uh, uh, season are 5 we, will have completed. Are we just season 6 after that? I mean, where, well, I where mean, are we going, right? What's the... What are we looking at? We're going to beat Fire and Ice now um, in the in the next season. Or I don't know if we'll beat it, but we're going to go ahead and, against Fire and Ice now, right? Um, the Two Sleeping Dragons is going to be called Season 5, The Sleeper Edition. Um, <laughs> and, and, in, and in two years, there's just going to be... This is going to be bubbles and Orin left, right? That was, and, that was uh, pretty good. The sleeper. Edition. What, what happens there? The, the The question really is: Is bubbles going to do anything, or is or is that just going to be a an untold story? And that that's the real question. Like, do we go anywhere from there? Like after season five, is there season six anything? It's all dragons. Season six. Well, I mean, season six does what? It's all dragons. It's Cantha, uh, right? It's Cantha, are, are, are we just going to follow uh, Orin around? I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm just... Yeah, it's I, I think I know what's going to happen. I think I, I think I have predicted Season 5. Would you like to hear it? Let's go. Yeah. Go I ahead. think Season 5 will be one episode long. <laughs> and I think what's going to happen is that Timey finds a way to make Scruffy oh. remote access into the other dragons and kill them, but it has to sacrifice Orin to do so. <laughs> and then and then the magic also kills Timey, and then Bram sacrifices himself to bring Timey back to life, and he goes to be in the mists with his mom. And so now we have Timey, but now she's healed because when she brought when she came back, her legs not hurt anymore, <laughs> and she's not dying. Um, and then Kaith is going to go off into the forest, and maybe she's already there actually because everybody fucking forgot about her. Um, Logan and Queen Jenna finally hit it off and get together, and Rox. Uh, I guess they forgot to hire her voice actor again, and just people forgot about her too. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and then the commander, uh, the commander gets banned from Reddit and the official forums, those both go offline and we can't use them anymore in real life since we're the, we're, we're the character that controls that. Um, and then the rest of the game goes into maintenance and all of the festivals and everything are automated and they're just gold sinks. And then we wait until Guild Wars 3 mobile. I think that's the future. Of, I, for uh, one, will be playing it on the toilet. Yeah? Uh, uh, no, I'm going to be playing it at all. Yeah, and it's, I'll probably no. run out of toilet paper playing it and then but, use my phone to wipe my... You, you know what? I'm, I'm going <laughs> to... Guys, I am going to do something very desperate here. Okay? Very, very desperate. All right. I'm, look, I'm reading it. If you make Guild Wars 3 a mobile game, I will say the game award, dude. Seriously, wow! I, I, look, wow. There, there are there are going to be a lot of game awards. If you go, what? What's that? <laughs> if, if you, if you, it, it's nothing. Don't, if you... don't even think about it. For oh second. wait, is that the? No, 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 no! Don't actually say it. No, no, no is it? Uh, is what you're talking yeah. about the 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 noun that would be used the bad, to describe the, the opening an offense that you go? Is that it? <laughs> just just not not good some... words. Okay, seriously. I don't... Seriously though, guys, like if we if if it's a mobile game, I'm gonna be pissed, right? I'm gonna ha I'm gonna I'm gonna have a gamer moment, right? A very heated gamer moment. We're talking like furnace, a furnace level heated gamer <laughs> moment, dude. Okay, right? It, it's whew, you're gonna be able to make some ingots in there, that's for sure. It's oh, it's not gonna be good. So yeah, yeah there I, you go. We should, we should just all retire and go to Raid Ranch. Yeah. Are we really ready? If they, if they do a mobile announcement, if they announce a mobile game on August 30th, guys, I will actually stop leveling in Classic WoW and uninstall Guild Wars 2 live on stream. No, there I know you what go. you need to do. Yeah. No, no, I don't. Have a live no, 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 no. I will have play, keep stream. playing. I'll keep playing while I'm uninstalling. Yeah, go I on. have a live stream in Guild Wars 2 and 
Okay, so we'll we'll go full circle here. If they announce Guild Wars 2 Mobile, take all of the funding from the raid tournament that you've gotten in donations, liquidate it to a vendor, and auto click away point after you salvage all your <laughs> stuff until it's all gone, and do it do a, a twenty four hour live stream of auto clicking away point. Yeah, you and can't delete the game yet. Classic, well. You still got to give away the rewards. No, yeah, yeah, you, I mean, no, no. You think is you you can, you can do that's actually a way better solution to this. Um, you, if you I, th I I think I heard a story of someone who did this. You can say ArenaNet, ban my account, okay? And even if I ask to have it back, don't let me have it back. Yeah, you can do that with <laughs> your pets too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can actually do that. And then they, you know, because you you pretend that you've had, you're addicted, right? Like, yeah, dude, oh, it's it my, you know, I'm addicted to black line keys or some shit, right? And then oh, they're gonna give it back to you. You won't be able to log out. Fucking. <laughs> okay, that was good. That was, yeah, that that was good. That was good. Uh... <laughs> Somebody just oh, asked me what okay. I think about uh, GW Mobile. Um, I've said this long ago. If ever Guild Wars Two goes mobile, I'm like I'm I'm quitting. Like that that, that that's done for me. Like I, I have no yeah, interest in a mobile game. I, I, you I, gave I, me I will either. you gave me advice a long time ago, Deroy here, and I'd like to give it back to you if you don't mind. Yeah. Whenever I felt like I couldn't stop raiding because I had to like get those legendary insights and just do it every week. And you said just pull the band-aid off. Yeah. Because it's gonna I happen did. eventually. So I'm gonna give you that same advice. We're gonna say just rip the band-aid off and just stop playing Guild Wars 2. I actually did for a while. Well, I mean you put it back on. I mean, yeah. Kinda. Sort of. I ripped my toenail off. If you can do that, you can rip <laughs> the band-aid off. Oh I will consider it playing the mobile game. I'm not gonna do it. No, I, no. but yeah, no, 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 I, I would, I would 100% flat. If 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 Guild Wars 2 ever became like mobile focused, and it it became even more streamlined and more simplified, and it if they ag more aggressively monetized it, more mobile same. If they like made it fully free to play, for example, and just like hard monetized it, I yeah, I would. That would be the final straw. I would do that. So here's the thing. Holy here's the problem with I'm that out. too. Here's the here's the problem with that is. You have a stance that you're not willing to compromise on. If Guild Wars 2 does this, then I'm not playing. But then you follow, everyone does this until they figure it out, where you say, This is my stance. I won't compromise on it. But then this, oh, and this, and then, and then this, and this. And if they do this, then I'll really quit. And it's the same thing. Like it's that same principle as you just turn the heat up slowly and you don't fucking realize. I, so I like, only have. They, I they, I've only ever had two of those. Like if I yeah, but you should have exact. Happens, you should have zero. You should none have of zero. The, none of them have been hit though. Yeah, like, you should have two. zero. If Arena Net fucks this up, then I'm not going to play, and you get no more chances. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's the I, position. I, I, I did, okay, I've only ever had two conditions for quitting. If GW three was announced, or if GW two mobile was announced. If either of those two things happen, this like I, I will not look at the game anymore. I I like there there's nothing there I will Yeah, there there will be nothing for me there. Yeah, there, if, there if can't either of those be, two things happen. There can't like, be well if there's Go Wars happen. 3 mobile. Well there's Go Wars 3 mobile and they aggressively monetize it and they make it so like I have to pay extra money to give my female Lorna dick. And all this shit, like, it just has to be. It has to stop at Guild Wars Three Mobile, because we know what follows after that. The time it takes to get there is what's undefined, but we know that if there is Guild Wars Three Mobile, everything follows after that that we don't want to happen. That's yeah. where it has to stop. That's where it has to stop. Yeah. And since there are a lot yeah. of fucking snakes in the chat, Bic, Bic, <laughs> Bic. <laughs> Let me just give you some advice. <laughs> let me just let me just give you some advice. I saw that video where you pretended to put that vibrator in your ass. <laughs> and as someone who is a semi-professional ass stuffer, you need to fucking step up your game. It's not that bad. If you do it correctly, it doesn't come out all that dirty. But <laughs> 
I challenge you to go make another Zorik call out video and put it up there for real and leave it and don't fucking fake it. Cause, because I can tell and everyone else can tell everyone can tell that you faked it. And that's giving Zorik Zorik won because of that. Oh Zorik shit. Actually won. He actually won. Yeah. Because it wasn't real. It was fake. So go put it in your ass. Do it for real. Yeah. Do it for real. It feels like taking a shit backwards. It's kind of uncomfortable. But like you realize like whenever it's coming out, like this is kind of cool. I kind of like this. <laughs> it's really kind of fun. And then it's just, it's a new world. It's a new world. Yeah. It's a whole new world. Yeah. It is. So I mean, would you? Uh, would you come? I mean, there's gonna, you're aware there's going to be a debate. Like Zorak actually took up the challenge, uh, Brazil. Like he has agreed to debate. Would yeah, you? but he's already won. Yeah, he's already won. Wait, wait, would you? Would they, you come on with? Would you come on debate as well? It. Would you come no, on? No, because I don't give a shit about Zorak. But I mean, it's like the ultimate meme, though. It's like that would be like the ultimate fiesta. Here's the here's the thing. Here's the thing. So this I actually I'm kind of happy that I get to address this now that I'm thinking about it. So Zorak is going to. Pull a classic, Brazil's afraid of me, Brazil's not here. Brazil is afraid to come and challenge me. But the problem with that is, is I don't give a shit about Guild Wars 2. And I don't give a shit about Zorik. And I don't give a shit about fucking any of that shit. I give a shit about being here right now because Teapot and Droyer and Inks, well, Teapot and Inks are my friends. Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and and we're, we're having a good time. We're having a good time, we're shooting the shit. And it's a, it's, it's, oh, it's nice. You just broke my heart right there. <laughs> but like, I don't, I don't, I don't care about coming on and baiting an angry Joe role player for however long the debate goes on. I don't give a shit about that. I don't, I don't care about coming in. See, see, if I was hiding, I would still have a YouTube channel and I would still be active in the community and I would still have a presence somewhere that I was retreating into giving a shit about the game. But I don't have any of that. I don't give a fuck about the game. I'm not active in the community. I'm not hiding. And I'm just giving you guys all, like, this is ahead of time. This is what Zorik's gonna pull. He's gonna pull this shit. He's gonna say, Brazil's afraid. Brazil's hiding. I have 300 IQ. I won. And so, like, what I'm saying, really, is Bic, you have to put that vibrator in your ass. <laughs> Because right now Zorik is winning, and you can't let him win. I know you still care. That's the only I know, way to win, right? I know that there's still some good left in you, and you just have to go put more good in you <laughs> in order to bring it all out. So there we go. There we go. Brazil does have some troll Reddit accounts. That is true. He does like to troll the. Reddit I have sometimes. 68 Reddit accounts. <laughs> 68 Reddit accounts. Yeah. You're off by one. That's. I mean, that is that is a lot of that is a lot of Reddit accounts. I'll give you that. Yeah. Wow. But no one knows who they are. Yeah. Maybe you can take a guess, but guess what? I'm not anywhere for you to ask me if that's it. And if that's true, that's you know, true. Yeah. You. You're, so yeah. you're just you're just gonna have to you're just gonna have to figure mm. it out on your own. Yeah. I I gotta I can't kind of uh, say one thing though. You were talking about how like you know. It's kind of the lay, you know, you're running away from the layers, the lay, you never really reach the quitting point. But uh, to be honest, like, I, 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 I'm, all, I'm also there, right? You know, I've said that, you know, like, I, I'm pretty much done, right? You know, I, I, the threshold for me has been reached, right? I don't think that, um, yeah. To get back to the, the almost where we started here, actually, I, you know, um, talking about, you know, why Deroy didn't really want to even talk about the game, it's because, it, you know, it, my threshold has been reached. I just don't think that me, contributing to the community actually does contribute to the community like it doesn't seem your furnace has been taken yeah my furnace has been taken right like no matter Hang on, oh, i need I, to go yeah. deal with my washing machine real fast sure have fun um, with that you know i i whatever i seem to suggest or however many raid trainings i run or how many people i carry through doom cm or kadim cm or kadim 2 cm or whatever or it doesn't seem to make any difference right so you know it's it is pretty much done for me like the game might as well be a bloody mobile game in my mind right i mean it's just yeah, it's uh, it's it's over, right? If there are no elite specs, what are they supposed to show in forty-five minutes? Pure presentation was twenty-three minutes long. You know, yeah, it, it, it's a big brain thing, right, Brayley? But then you've got to bear in mind that they, you know, they talk about like mount skins and shit for like an hour. You know, it, they, it, it, you know, you can stretch stuff out into a, you know, a whole lot of nothing, right?
I mean, um, I think it'll you be can talk field. a lot of flash. You can talk a lot of flash for nothing. I think Easy. it'll be other features, cooking and mm. art. Yeah, but yeah, are they, yeah. But are they going to go kind of over stuff? cooking and artificer? Nah, I mean, they'll mention it, right? This goes to 500, and you'll be able to craft. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, but I get right. enough of those bullet points. It's not that hard to fill up another 20 right. minutes, right? I really, I genuinely wish that there will be elite specializations, Braley. Like, I want to, I want to be with you. I want to be there. I just don't see it. Um, but forty-five minutes is not a long time, dude. Like Forty. Look, look. I'm I'm going to expose myself. I have a two-hour podcast every single week, okay, about Guild Wars Two, and we we we've got nothing, right? We got nothing. We have to have <laughs> Brazil come on. <laughs> we got to bring Brazil on here, and he's talking about shoving stuff up his ass, right? Yeah, okay, that's that, that's what we've got to do. Like, I'm sure Arena can come up with something similar. You know what I mean? Like, we, that, that's that's what we got. They're gonna invite Brazil, and he's gonna talk about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you're carrying, not teaching. If you teach people multiple times, it would have been different. Every time you just get different people, it's not enough to carry them. Once carries, it's not enough to. No, what? no. That Sognus. No. Oh my God. No, dude. I should actually be rude to you or ignore you. That's absolutely not true. I explain everything when I do raids with um, people, particularly the CMs. What? What the? What the fuck? Okay, like this is this is insane. That is not true. I, I, and re regardless, yeah. even even if that was the case, you st you still need people to be motivated by themselves. They're not just going to like I don't I don't know. People just don't want to go out of their way at, even after getting getting the yeah. teaching, if, even after watching a video, even after having joined a a training raid. They don't want to go out of their way on their own, and that's that. They don't follow up. So no matter how many people you teach or carry or whatever the fuck, unless they stick to the wall for a, an insanely extended period of time, it's just, it's just not, I guess, worth it. Yeah. Wait, what is this? What is Bick Lincoln here? What's he going for? Oh, what the fuck? Angry Zorik left the group. <laughs> Oh Sorry. no, Bick! Looks like you need to make another call out video, dude. Looks like you're gonna make another need to make another call out video. Yeah, you know it's it, it, it's it is unfortunate with regards to uh, to call so and 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 yeah, Bravo says I always fill uh, key roles with mix. Yeah, it's because I believe that if you have new people, you shouldn't have new people in high responsibility roles. But that's where the self motivation comes in, right? You know. Uh, you need to, if you're going to learn raids, you should be watching other people do the mechanics while you're playing. For example, this is something that has always got me about the raid community. I've never understood it, right? There are so many people who literally don't know how to tank Zera, even though they've killed Zera like a hundred times plus. And it's baffling to me, because how can you not have noticed how the tank is doing it in those hundred kills? Just you know what I mean? Paying attention to any of that. It, it's just how? How can you be that that incompetent? <laughs> or they don't know how to. They don't know where the tank pattern is on Doom, or they don't know how it works on stuff like Kadeem. They don't understand this mechanic. They don't understand that mechanic. It's just how? How can you be that much of a DPS ape? But this is everyone. Like everyone only knows their exact role and nothing else. It's like, it's so weird. It's utterly bizarre. Um, how how incurious the Guild Wars 2 player is. It, it, it terrifies me, actually. Right? People are so incurious about the game. Right? All they want to do is just get that reward and then get the fuck out. You know, it's, oh, it feels so bad, man. You know? I don't think... But I will say this, though. World of Warcraft wasn't any different when I played it. It was the same. Like, the tanks, and the, the tanks knew the tanking spots and the DPS didn't know shit other than how to DPS. Oh, God, it's just DPS players, then. Yeah, Ooh. we're all, we're or all. Even, ah! even like, I don't know, even support players, like they knew their role and what to do in that fight. But I would bet you that a good deal of them, maybe mm. not in the top guilds, that might be separate. But the people that were clearing the raids, like on the like the mid, the mid level, whatever, I would say that they knew their roles and that was it. And that's why they were comfortable in those roles. Yeah, okay, that's why when... when a tank left a group, finding another tank was a big deal. You know, at least back then. I don't know about today, but you know, hmm. it's complete. Sh it's complete shit. Learning PO off raids. Is it though? Look, 
Uh, this is this might be a hot take actually, but wing six and wing seven, in terms of telegraphing and mechanic, mechanic signaling, are actually, in my opinion, extremely well designed. Right? Uh, if you it, it, okay, this is going to be a really fucking hot take. If you wipe on wing six or wing seven, you fucked up. Right? You are bad. Right? Like, everything is so non-RNG dependent and purely like mechanics and skill based. Right? That that that's just re that's just reality. Right? On, on wing six and wing seven in particular. Right? On wing five, yeah, Desmina is a little bit of RNG. Uh, but even Doom, Doom is pretty consistent. Right? It's I don't know. Um, I think Guild Wars 2 actually does a really good job of um, explaining mechanics to you, right? You open all wings all the time? Yeah, it's because people don't know how to do them after years of, you know, literally years of gaming. Uh, I don't know. DPS is the hardest role. Well, you know, it's funny. It's funny, actually. Like, DPS is actually a very high skill role, but I just think that it's weird that people kind of can't be bothered to, you know, to learn anything else except hitting the boss, right? I don't know. So uh, yeah, talk about WoW Classic. Wings of his Resident Sleeper. When does uh, when does WoW Classic come out? Uh, twenty sixth. Twenty sixth. Well, it's twenty sixth and the twenty seventh technically because it's like it, it's the twenty sixth but eleven p.m. UK time. So it's so you, mid, it's, you must be super hyped now. It's oh yeah. like it was like uh, what, three weeks. This is this is a very high very high energy here. Uh, the right right. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I do the ERP Elite's Raiding Party next day. I'm playing WoW Classic. <laughs> God damn, dude. It's a reward. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's... Feels good, man. Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah. It's good timing. I, yeah, and this this is so perfect, actually. And guys, I, I promise you, I did not plan this. I absolutely promise you I didn't plan this. But um, the 25th, which is the final for the Elitist Raiding Party, happens to be the Guild Wars 2's anniversary as well, right? Oh, that that is so good. It's just you you couldn't make this stuff up, boys. Right? It's the anniversary. Um, of course. Uh, I you know there's no you know I'm no gems from arena. It feels bad, man. No retweets. Feels bad, man. Oh, it's a disaster. But hey, there you go. Right? How does it feel to quit Guild Wars for Classic? It actually feels incredibly bad because I th this is going to upset the Classic fanboys. Like Guild Wars Two is a mechanically better game. Uh, than classic WoW. There's absolutely no question about that. You know what? You know what? I'm mad. I'm mad, Inks and Dora. I'm mad. I'm pissed. Do you know why I'm pissed, guys? I'm mad because if I want to have that ex the experience that I'm looking for, I have to go back 15 fucking years to play it, right? Why is no one making this? I mean, well, actually, it's a real shame. At least you get the chance for it to do That's that. That's true. I mean, it, it is. It is true. It's true. But so there's that. Why Why is no one catering to me, okay? I want my content. I want my content, Daroya. I want my gaming. Me too. I, you know, and you know, people talking about Wildstar, I, I am really disappointed that I missed it. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I should have played Wildstar, you know? I should have championed Wildstar and, well, maybe tried to do something. I, Wildstar you know, had as, as, probably as, would as a content creator or something like that. Well, I don't know. Yeah, Wildstar it had a lot of had problems. problems other than being hardcore, though. It wasn't ready for the time. Mm. Not only that, but the gear acquisition was really terrible in Wildstar. The fact that you got random stats on particular pieces of gear that were best in slot. If you got the wrong random stats, then it wasn't best in slot. So you had to like grind the same instance over and over again to get the right stats on the gear that was best for your character. Yeah, but I mean, so the gearing was kind some of updates here and there could have kind of, I mean. Okay, what did I miss? Over the years, nothing major. What did I miss, guys? You sound like you just. Nothing really. Zor well, well I, I, the only big thing you miss is that Zorik left the uh, the debate Discord I had set up with Bic. What? Zorik. Yeah, he, what? he left, he left the group. He left the fucking group, dude. He's out. What a bitch. Yeah, he, he feels fear, he feels a snake. <laughs> Wait, I don't. What prompted that to happen? I don't know. It just happened. He just saw it. He saw that I added them into the Discord, and then, and then you know, he feared the fears the snake. But uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, probably. Yeah. Well, to get. I mean, I mean, Bick will probably make another call out video, so it's good to go, right? But I, I, I don't know. Do, 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 do we actually have? Do we actually have anything else to say with regards to Guild Wars Two? I'm just not, not sure if really. we do. No. I think we got nothing to say. I mean, I think I think that's it, guys. I think tea time good has. Boys. I think tea time is over. I really hate to say it, guys. You know, you hate to see it. Now, there is a, uh, you know, I'll tell you what, guys. I will react to the Bic video. People, I know you guys want me 
to react as a fucking snake video that just got released. Um, but I'll do that tomorrow, okay? Uh, because Wait, what's, I'm streaming. Wait, what? Vic has made a Georges call out video now as well. He's exposing Georges. Fuck Georges. Yeah. What? Well, <laughs> Fuck him. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys, if you guys have got any questions, what's wrong with Georges? If you guys have questions, then you can you can ask us a few questions if you want to. But uh, other than that, that's, that's basically it for tea time, guys. I'm about to get the fuck out. I'm gonna get get some. Um, I'm gonna get some uh, hosting going on fairly shortly. But yeah, if you got anything. Let's fucking go, but what's wrong with George? Nothing wrong with George. George's a good guy. He's I, a good lad. Okay, don't smush him. I think I'll actually do this. Okay. Oh my god. Should I run before? I'll. I'll... Okay. <laughs> Bick and I versus oh. George's and Zorik. I thought you were going to say moderate. Bick and I are the same person. <laughs> yeah. Like, I will actually. I'll do that. I'll take but, time out of my schedule to do that. And you know what? We should do it during the ERP. <laughs> during but Zorik downtime. doesn't like Georges very much. No. Zorik doesn't fucking like anybody, but the problem is nobody fucking likes him either. I like everybody. No, you don't. Inks, you're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Inks <laughs> hates everyone, dude. Ult he's an ultra negative ne Inks, NMA, dude. Inks is, Inks is like the time warp future version of me. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's come from the future to save Guild Wars 2 from his past self. Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. That's crazy, man. Well, the thing is, I, don't, I think uh, Georges wouldn't side with Zorik, though. I don't know, I, you know... I, I, Georges was he actually heavily I mean have you in a recent stream of mine he actually debated against Zorik so that that debate said it wouldn't work okay well then who's gonna side who's who, how are you gonna make this fair because like I mean to be okay to be honest I think like Bick and I could both take on like three or four people by ourselves <laughs> and it still might not even be fair that's true actually no I I, I think that is a, that's a fair statement yeah I don't know I guess it's a pipe dream yeah, I'm afraid so. We're gonna. I, 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 there aren't that many. The the trouble is, right, is that you're looking for someone who's got a more casual mindset, or you know, a kind of um, you know, just quit forehead um position. The thing is, like that kind of person doesn't okay. stream, right? They I don't know. Stream. I know. I know who it has to be. Oh no 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 no! It, it has to be Galaxy's oh, Fire. No, oh no! no. Galaxy's don't, Fire. Don't, no, oh, no, 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 we'll do it. Big set it up, we'll do it on your channel. We'll do no. it on your channel. We'll do it on her channel. We'll do it on Zorik's channel. We don't have to fucking do it on Tea Time. That's what it is. That's the debate. That's the... If... If it... If it happens, I'll be there. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he doesn't man. know what to do. I don't, well, I'll tell you what I know what to do. I think it's time to end this tea time. It's time to shut this down, dude. We've got to shut it all down. <laughs> yeah, we have got to shut it down, boys. So, what it's a tea the time. Stakes. It's raise the stakes. What a tea we'll time. Do. Okay, okay. Everyone, Thank you guys for now. Business expense, business expense, business trip to Seattle. We do it in front of Arena Net. <laughs> on, on the 30th. <laughs> You go to the theater and set it right next to them and just start yeah. live streaming it from 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 their announcement. Wow, I mean that would be pretty high energy. So I'll tell you what, it's time to get the fuck out of here. Um, Brazil, do you have any shout outs you want to give? Because I, I know you don't really you know make content anymore because you're you know you're a little bit a little bit done. But do you want to do you want to do you have any words for us before we head off? Uh, yeah, subscribe subscribe to Inks. And subscribe to Droyer, because Inks is cool and Droyer is not cool, but you can learn a lot from him. Thanks. Whoa! Wow. I mean, I'll take the not cool thing. No, Droyer's a good guy. Droyer's <laughs> I give him a lot of shit, but like, he's, he's got an eye to have, and he looks like he's got a little bit of a tan going on, so he's all right. He's got a good personality. He's happy, he's critical, but he's positive. We need people like him, and we need people like Inks. We need nice. people like Inks. Feels you don't good. need people like Teapot. He should not be an arena net partner because yep. he's fucking toxic and he's everything wrong with Guild Wars 2. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you guys, I'm, I'm done. That's my shout out. Oh my God. Nice. Okay. Well, there you go. And let's see our other two wonderful guests here. We've got all the way back from America. Okay, he stared into 
the void at arena and he came out of it with oh every single ounce of his pma drained it is deroy gaming hey it's me yeah it's me um follow me on twitter because like i don't really i don't really stream or post anything on youtube right now i don't know soon tm maybe probably um but yeah twitter or like I don't know, find me on Garmin Connect and challenge me. I don't know. I, I play that even <laughs> more than anything else. I play that. I say it's just an app. It's like a fitness app. Yeah, find me, challenge me. I don't know. Okay. Well, thumbs up. There you have it. Big thumb up there. And finally, it's MMO Inks Brazil from the future. He's future doing something Brazil. weird. Oh, shit, wait, no, shut the fuck up. Everybody go and subscribe to Zach on YouTube. For oh, some dank, for Raid Ranch. Yeah. Dank fucking memes. There's going to be a video real, oh, yeah. real soon. There's going to oh, be yeah. some fresh memes. There's going to be some link fresh it, ash let me, memes. Let me find this channel. Let me find this channel. I'll link it. Okay, Hink, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I really have nothing to say. Uh, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube at MMO Inks. Tea time's always fun. It's always an experience. Oh, yeah. Dead. It, it, it is indeed. It's an experience, also, that's for sure. as future Brazil, I got bad news, buddy. Shit is all downhill after uh, you hit about 30. <laughs> <laughs> You're in for a ride. Buckle up. Okay, and then finally, <laughs> it is me. If you want to support the stream, guys, hit that follow button. Hit that sub button hard. You can do it right now. Support the stream. Get the sub count up. You know, at 400 subs, I will uninstall guild wars 2 let's get that sub goal rolling okay and as usual uh yes exclamation mark erp in the chat and you can support my tournament as well there is uh you know i am planning on one final explosive finale for my guild wars 2 career and that is of course the elitist raiding party it is an epic raid tournament okay between the best remaining guilds in the game it's actually going to be probably the most competitive tournament we've ever seen we've got real money price well we've got 140k uh gold price well we got gems as well we got gems guys hoard it up i saved all my codes the arena couldn't get me that good see I, I used them on myself oh you should send them to me man well you everyone send me your <laughs> gems codes yeah anyway you can go over there and support that. Be sure to spread the word because that is going to be absolutely insane. Uh, make you know, I'm going to bribe Enko a little bit. He's going to send me that one mil. He's worth a million, guys. You know, I'm going to take that mil. I'm going to put it in the price or simple as that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Follow, subscribe. You can find links to everyone who has been on Tea Time right now and who has ever been on Tea Time. Uh, you can find that below the stream. So get on that ASAP, guys. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Subscribe on YouTube. Watch all the other tea times. Come on, watch every single day. I am still streaming every day. Yeah, Enko, what are you doing? Throwing all your money away, man. Come on, you, you're a smart boy. Okay, come on. You, you knew you were going to... Do you know how much Enko spent on those boxes, by the way, Inks? 52k. I bet he still didn't yeah. get his wow. ghost dog either. He got, um, he got one uh, confetti infusion. Oh, it went up to 62k. He he went 62k gold on the boxes. Oh, crap. Nice. Yeah. Wow. God damn. Yeah. Very nice. Luckily, he got a confetti infusion, so that kind of unfucked him up a little bit. But it was still pretty bad. It was what? it was rough. Yeah, I saw the post on Reddit. It was still not. It was bad. It was. Gotta <laughs> spend money to make money. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, anyway, it's actually I, I. That's actually bullshit advice. People that tell you that are full of it. You don't spend your own money to make money. You spend other people's money to make money. So if anyone tells you that, tell them they're full of shit and tell them that you have. That's why fucking people that run for president and office and people that start companies, they spend other people's money and they mm. bullet themselves, bulletproof themselves with lawyers. That's, uh, that's how it works. That's the how raid is going to happen just mid Oh, yeah. monologue. We're, we're initiating the raid over to Valen. Oh, they're, they're, these are horrible ones. Getting in, getting inside the heads of free-to-play players who play $50 per month. Ugh. And let's go away. Like, don't watch these videos, guys. It will make you want to stop gaming forever. I don't want, I would not recommend them. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Watch Follow, it. subscribe. Come and watch every single day, guys. We've got content, Bye, content, content. Everyone. Debates, debates, debates. Say hello to the next stream that's coming right up here. And of course, we'll see you guys next time. In the mists. <laughs> yeah, every time, dude. I can't help it. <laughs> every time.